morning and welcome to Hurstville Oval. It is the New South Wales versus South Australia here. The Wolfpack taking on the Sharks. Joining me in commentary this afternoon, head coach of the University of Canberra Firebirds, Nathan Long. Morning, Murray. Thank you. Oh, have I got this thing plugged in right? Morning, Murray. Good pleasure to be here. Yep, we're working. Yes, sorry. We thought we were having some technical difficulties there. Yep, no, look, it should be a, this should be a cracking match. Both sides searching for their first win of this AGL campaign. So um, looking forward to a pretty good game. Yeah, beautiful conditions here at Hersel this, uh, this morning. It is uh, 11.30 Eastern Standard Time. The field, I was just out on the field, Nathan. I hope we can get to play here during the year because uh, in New South Wales we don't get, or Sydney, we don't get many grounds in uh, this great a condition and it's uh, absolutely picture perfect out there. It is, look, it's, it, it's a really good field. We were out there wandering around before and um, even the cricket pitch section in the middle there, it's actually it's quite firm but it's not rock hard. Sometimes you get um, those fields where it's like concrete. This Collab is a, the old collarbone breakers? Collarbone rattler, yep, that's exactly the one. Yeah, no, I, th I think it's, um, it's the, the footing's good, I mean, on the outside of the surf as well. So, yeah, look, I, look, I don't think it's not going to be too many condition problems out there. So... Um, hope both sides have, have uh, run spread offences, so it, I think it's conducive to the wide open football that they both want to play. Yeah, so we're uh, having a look at the coin toss at the moment. It's uh, getting out in line. I think South Australia won the toss and will receive. Yes, they are receiving. We see the captains and there for New South Wales, the starting quarterback, number eight, Mark Shoebridge from the Northwestern Predators. He'll be leading New South Wales. Out of the offensive huddle, Tuck King from UTS there in 32. Under a bit of an injury cloud, but I think he'll be doing his best to uh, well, at least play one snap, and at the moment, we well, might not even get that way. He, he looks like he's still, he looks like he's still wearing the basketball he's shoes. Four, I, I doubt he'd be out he's there. He's four out of five lame in horse racing uh, terminology. So 12 minute quarters. Yep, and New South like. Wales taking on South Australia. New South Wales for and against, a little bit lopsided in the uh, first two games they've played, 20 points for, 121 against. South Australia, they've only scored the 12 points but have only let in 61. New South Wales being defeated by Western Australia, 60 zip, and Queensland, 61 zip. South Australia's games, they were defeated by Queensland, 27-6, sorry, 24-6, and Western Australia, 35-6. So, Nathan, Western Australia and Queensland compete to... Yeah, it'll be, uh, it's, yeah it looks like it's a, uh, pretty much last year's race as well. It's, uh, look, they're, they're two both very strong teams. And I think um, South Australia, uh, in, especially in that first half against Western Australia, they showed that they can sort of, they can sort of match them in spaces. So, look, it's, um, uh, even though they're travelling here, I think they're, they're, they're a pretty good shot here. So just the five teams in the South Australian League and their 30th anniversary of the competition kicked off in 1986. And of course, uh, plenty of teams in the New South Wales League. We are getting ready for kickoff. Stephen Armstrong, Stephen Armstrong from the Rebels. We are now, this are is a 90 yard field as well here. So it's, uh, this could carry right down to the goal line. Gets half Maybe. a little chip onto it. It's going to sit in front of that front line, but it does take a nice bounce for the South Australians. He does get to the outside, and they were scored against early uh, in the first game, New South Wales, but a nice tackle there across the um, sideline as we get the replay. Yeah, good, good little run there by uh, Will, Will Muirden. He sort of gets there. Not, not a lot there, so he just uh, took the yards, got out of bounds. So. And Armstrong, the kicker, getting down there to uh, make the covering tackle. Always handy. Yep, yeah, yeah. you like kickers who can tackle. He's a big kicker. Yeah, here we go. So, first offensive play coming for the South Australian Sharks. Brings a tight end in motion. They come across to the left-hand side, bounces this one outside, tries to cut back in, but Fair few, blue, fair few blue jerseys there, Nathan. Nice covering tackle by the New South Wales boys. It was, yeah, look, good good, uh, good block on the end by uh, Gaston there. He went out to go um, get the end, but he uh, sealed off the linebacker suit and sacks Leary just to cut back up the middle there. So nice good uh, gain of five yards. Nice way to start it, and they're back in the no huddle. So orders being marched out from both sides of the ball. South Australia taking their time, dropping back to pass over the middle. That one a little bit too high. 
No flags on the play. So the first pass there for the Sharks, incomplete, and it might have just sailed a little bit on the quarterback there. Yeah, just a little. There's a little bit of a hole, hole you know, in between the layers of the coverage there. So look at a good, good shot there. They're still in a pretty manageable third down distance here, third and five. So yeah. So we take you and show you the graphics. Of course, 10 minutes 57, 54 and, and counting. Timeouts three apiece. Plays on the 40, and they're over there in the bottom right hand side, third and five. Sorry, on the 37 is the current play. They might have grabbed New South Wales, so free play here, and they launch this long down the left sideline. But it's, it's uncatchable there. The, uh, South Australia receiver there, uh, Jesse White, and they're appealing for a penalty, but that was way over the sideline and uncatchable, so it's not interference. I think we might find this will be an offside. Yes, it is. So, first penalty of the afternoon going the Sharks' way. Just managing to get New South Wales to jump. And the quarterback there from the Sharks taking full advantage. Mark Rusby, he's from the South City Chiefs. Uh, Leary's quite deep in the backfield here. It's first down, so we'll see what their play selection is going to be. They've gone with just the one run so far and they drop back to pass once again. Good little pocket there, finds tight end over the middle. Completes the first pass of the after of the morning there, Rusby. To Will Muir in there, nice, nice little catch over the middle. So, Good protection here for Rusby on the replay. Uh, they, 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 stunted, they stopped that inside rush and uh, that is a pickup of nine. So they continue to march downfield South Australia. They got a, a massive favour. Coach Rocco will be pretty upset with his boys that jumped offside on that third down play. This run to the left-hand side, once again, probably just for three to four yards. Uh, yeah, Terrell Freeman Murphy came up and made a pretty good stop there. It, uh, if he didn't make that stop there, Saxon Leary's got a uh, fairly, fairly big um, a chance, chance to get a decent amount of yardage there. But amazing as it was, they picked up the first Terrell down. has only played in the Colts level. Yes, there's a few Colts on this side, yeah. Yeah, uh, Ronaldo as well from UTS. So there's a few young kids getting their chance on a uh, pretty big stage. Draw play here for South Australia. Seems to have worked very nicely up the guts. Yeah, they've, uh, they've run that uh, fairly well in the AGL this year. Um, they've run that quite effectively, so it's a good one. They cl cleared out the, uh, uh, the defensive tackle there. You saw the defensive tackle there, uh, Stephen Armstrong. They uh, got him out of the way there and um, picked up a good game. It's going to six, I believe. So where can New South Wales find a defensive stop at the moment? They all seem to be backing off in, in coverage, the corners and the outside linebackers. Taking their time, South Australia. Quick pass, right-hand side. They find a man in the flat and they push him out of bounds over on the far side. It's that, it's that man, Muirden, again. Nice little quick out, uh, staple of a spread offense. You see this straight away, just step back, hit his target. Yeah, found his man around the 20. Yeah, nice pick up a three there, so. Yeah, Murden, sorry, I've been pronouncing his name wrong. Murden? Murden, Murden. Well, Leary's busted up the middle. This is going to be a touchdown here. There we go. 20 to 23 yards up the middle, Saxon Leary, the first touchdown of the game, and that gives South Australia a 6 0 lead. Yeah, let's have a look at the replay here. Yep. Big pass right in the guts. Yeah, that's right up the middle. Went through that left side A gap there. Really good job of collapsing it down there. A um, uh, couple 50. of New South Wales boys just got in each other's way there. And we see the replay yeah, again. Tom, Tom Pincher with a really good block there to seal it, and Saxon Leary just bounced out off, off his outside hit there. So they're going for one here. Snap the ball down. Kick on its way. No good. No good. Liam Bennett with the miss, so it looks like it's 6-0. Here is the replay. I don't know if the hold was fantastic. Just uh, had hold, to stab yeah, at it. Yeah, no, hold looked good, snap looked good. So, yeah, just, just one of those things just faded away. It looked good off the boot, but, yeah, didn't quite get Interesting. There. I'm surprised. I don't think we'll see New South Wales. Uh, knowing uh, Rocco's coaching background, he's not one for the PAT. Or in saying that at UTS the last couple of years, we haven't had many... Uh, opportunities with kickers. Yeah, it would be interesting to see what South Australia do if they if they make, if, um, if they get down there again and score again. Whether they actually do go for two, whether you want to make it a 14, or whether you just uh, kick the one again. So, but that's 
That's a problem for the future, don't worry about it. Or Not long off the clock either, Nathan. Uh, South Australia went down the field fairly easily there. And of course, probably yeah, was... the, the big thing from the drive, Nathan, was the, the offsides on third down gives the Sharks a first down and then it, it they was, get to restart and score. It is a cliche, but penalties can come back to haunt you. So, but look, it's early days, still plenty of time to make some plays. So. A good kick from South Australia to the left-hand side of your screen. A couple of blockers in front. Manages to get a little crease up the middle. He's going to cut back to the left-hand side. Has a bit of daylight. Goes across halfway. There is a flag. He's going to try and duck under a tackle. Nice work there from New South Wales to really get the drive off really well. Let's have a look at the replay now from the end zone camera. That is Mitchell Kirk. Finds a lovely crease in that cricket pitch area, then cuts it across to the left-hand side of the field. Unfortunately, it is coming back. It does, we have missed the call there, but it looks like it is a holding penalty there, so. Yeah, that is a killer. Yeah. Although they are conferring the middle here now, so we'll see what's going on. A bit of a chat going on between the zebras, and when we get the zebras' names, we'll give them a bit of credence, because it's always good for an official to Referee a state game. And the tackle there was by Andre Benjamin for the Sharks. He's a South City Shark. So we get the call here. Uh, they're just asking the uh, sidelines to move back. Seems very eager to get close to the action. Nath always seems to be... Well, they're marking this off from the end, end of the run. So I reckon it's probably on the sidelines not getting back, so... You think the ref just yeah. threw a flag and then just served yeah, no, as a look, warning they, they, for they, everyone? No, they have definitely enforced the penalty. They definitely enforced the penalty. So New South Wales throwing the ball just over halfway. There you go with the run right side. The man who gave that great kickoff return there in uh, 12. I've got to make sure I look at the uh, right sheet. Mitchell Kirk gets the ball. Not a lot there. South Australia defence was there and swarming, but I think he, you think he did well to pick up a solid three and a half yards. So. You think more bit of read, read option there, Nath, or you think look, that was design run? Oh, look, oh, it, look, it definitely was design run with a read option, but I think he was giving that the whole way. Quarterback doesn't really want to keep it unless he knows straight away. Whoop. He's going to oh. go up the guts. He's put it on the deck. And it looks like there's going to be a fight for the ball. It looks like these piles where anything goes. Here's the replay. We get the snap from Oliver Pro, but it was fine. And it's just in that first hit, the South Australian yeah. player comes over. Josh the Francisco side. came around the edge. I think he got a, got a piece of it, and it is a South Australia ball. Wow, well, that's um, that is that, that's that, that's that's a tough start. Yes, really good uh, kickoff run. Mitchell Kirk started things off. Six zip to South Australia, and then all of a sudden, first offensive uh, possession for the Wolf Pack. The quarterback puts it down. And not a great start for New South Wales. They're going to have to shake it off and get a defensive stop here against the Sharks, who looked really good. They looked at the sideline to get a read. We can see a few of the South Australian coaches uh, giving some signals to the quarterback. This run straight up the guts. We're not going anywhere. Pretty much stuffed where it started, Nathan. Yeah, it was. We'll just uh, have, wait for the replay to come in and have a look. at uh, some good inside penetration there. So, yeah, no, look, uh, New South Wales number 94 there, uh, James McLean Horton. He took on two blockers and managed to peel off and uh, stone that cold. So, no gain for Saxon Leary. So, the Sharks going, trying to go quick here. They go quick pass right hand side. They find a man in the flat once again. And Nathan, that's a staple play South Australia have probably yeah. gone to three times so far. Yeah, it is. Yeah, look, nice little quick out there. Um, so pretty, New South Wales got some pretty good pressure there through uh, uh, Jordan Harrison. But yeah, just nice little solid catch there. Uh, good tackle position. there from uh, Joey Donahue, the cornerback. Can't see the receiver from our position here, unfortunately. So for watching at home, it was a good catch, whoever it was. We'll, we'll get for you in a second. So 8.14 in the first quarter. Pass over the middle, good hit, couldn't stick. Good stick there from Murden. That was a good catch. Will Murden, another South City Chief. There, plenty of them. 
Look, that, that, that shows some courage going up there, leaves his ribs open for a hit there, but uh, came down with the ball. So just calling out the protection here. Uh, South Australia offence looked like the right guard assists Rosby in calling out protection here. Back to pass again. There's the draw they've used once or twice. Oh, Good tackle there from... I think you're going to find this is a face mask pedal on New South Wales right at the end of the run there. Saxon Leary uh, got his helmet reefed back, so... This might be... It's going to be, it's going to be 15 yarders. He's going to help South Australia in, infinitely. So, so this will be two penalties in each drive. Yeah, number 17 there for it's the uh, Freeman. Freeman Murphy, bit, bit of a... Didn't really need to do that. I know he's trying to go for the ball, but this one just get make the tackle, get it down, and that's uh, giving South Australia a nice little chunk of yardage there. Uh, well, quick announcement here. Uh, we've got some lost keys that have been handed into the commentary box. So if you've lost your keys and you can come up here and identify them, uh, we'll be here all day. Yeah, we're right next to the memorial scoreboard. Who's the memorial for? I can't see the uh, person's name. But the so. scoreboard to the left of the field pretty much play in front of us if you have misplaced your keys. South Australia, quarterback, Rusby, barking orders. Run goes up the guts once again. Three, four, five yards. Uh, about four yards there for Leary. So I think he's got down to the... Uh, it looks like the 17, but it's in reality it is the 12 because it's a 90-yard field here. So South Australia, their game, they go spread and they go quick. They're it's trips to the right here. Potentially looked to the sideline for another call. Rusby doesn't seem to at the moment. Waits on the snap in the pistol, drops back here. Rusby has a bit of time, but gets flushed out. Has to go across to the right hand side. Does he have anyone to go to? No, it was at the feet of his receiver. No, New South Wales did uh, pretty good coverage there back at the uh, in the back of the end line there. Um, Murden flashed open early, but uh, they're looking for someone just a bit deeper at the goal line. But the, uh, New South Wales had it all covered up. That's the thing with Rusby. Rusby's legs give him a lot of time, give him a chance to buy a lot of time. So I mean, that's the thing. New South Wales, if you're a D back here, you've really got to cover cover for a long time. It's it's no quick passing game here, especially considering he's completed a couple of passes over the middle. So that middle linebacker for New South Wales has got his hands full this afternoon. Rusby back once again. They go the draw. The Sharks, nice little kick to the left hand side. Shakes the first tackle, can't shake the second, or can he? Nearly does. Strong running. That's close there ball. from no, South Australia. They're not going to give him the forward progress there. So, got a New South Wales player coming off with a uh, shoulder slash arm. Yeah. We just saw the replay there. Um, South Australia, their left guard Tom Pinch, number 57, made a pretty good block there to spring that open early. Um, did well. He had to play left tackle against Western Australia the other week. And, um, We've got look. two people down for New South Wales. Rhett Toss has come... He's come straight across to the sideline, holding a, a left arm, left shoulder. And we've got 41 on the deck. Stephen Armstrong, who's also the kicker. He's uh, He played well. He made, made a play early in, one, in the previous drive there, so... Holding the... No. Oh, the ribs. Yeah. Look, hope, hope he's all right. Yeah, they're two big, uh, big players in New South Wales. Red Toss is a really good player for uh, the Central Coast Sharks. And, of course, his, uh, his dad is one of the greats of Australian gridiron. Yep. Uh, his sister is the women's coach at UTS. Yep. She's also been in uh, coaching uh, in a rep arena for many a year. So it's a big gridiron family. And, and she course, will be coaching later on today, the yeah, women's game, yes. And then... Coach Rocco for New South Wales is the brother-in-law. So He's plenty a of affair. <laughs> relations going on down there for the New South Wales boys. So for, look, for, fourth and one and a half, fourth and two here. It's um, South Australia. They're going with the spread. They're not bringing in the power. They're going to they're going to they're going to dance with the girl that brought them. Do you go quick pass or do you go oh, draw? I, I reckon. Oh look, I reckon they're both an option. You go quick flat out. The receivers are nice and split on the far side. He's splitting Murden there, but no, they give it to Saxon again. He has it. So a nice little cut to get him to the outside. Another first down for the Sharks. And Rusby, Nathan, doing a really good job of controlling tempo and where the ball's going at any one time. Yeah, and that was a really good patient run by Saxon Leary there. I mean, look, it's fourth, fourth and short. You want to try and get to and through the line as quickly as possible. He waited there, waited for the whole develop and took it, and uh, it paid off. And they're mm -hmm. knocking on the door again here, aren't they? Yeah, he's an Australian rep, Saxon Leary. 178 centimetres, 86 kilos. 
He's out in the flat there. He's going to have to do a mountain of work, Rasby. Great work from New South Wales. Pressure up the middle. And the sack there from James McLean Horton. Look, the, the first of the afternoon. On the replay, he, he, um, he shot straight through there. He, he just got left alone. He was in the, um, lined up in the uh, right A gap. And he, um, if yeah. we have a look at the replay once again, the gardener tackle on the left-hand side come out as if it's a, uh, a screen. It looked like a screen, like... but the running back goes to the other side. Yeah, look, so, no, no, he went, he went the same side. Yeah, looked like I was trying to set up the screen there, but just, um, yeah, he just he got through too quickly. Probably should have given a bit more of a, a, a chuck there to stop him getting uh, stop the penetration. But anyway, once again, oh. it's on the deck, but they managed to get it. South Australia, they put it on the deck. Trying they... to trying to set up the zone read there. Yep. 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 No, that's just that's just a mistake. That's just a mistake in the handover. We'll have a look at the replay here. Come there. You get the feeling it was a uh, late decision. Late decision. Yeah. He wanted to, he wanted to um, give it and pull, and um, yeah, it just didn't quite work out. So third and fourteen for the Sharks. Definitely two down territory here. He wouldn't think they'd go the part of the uh, the field goal, and that one is down at the feet of Leary. Once again, pressure from New South Wales straight up the middle, and Rusby. Yeah, they're trying to set. Look like they're trying to set up that swing again, but uh, yeah, uh, I think they just bought uh, bought the backer off the edge. Could be Marcos Delano for yeah. Delana, sorry. Yeah, for no. New South. Well, so much for my prediction about two down territory. They're going for the field goal. Oh, very <laughs> interesting. Obviously, the kickers come back and say, don't worry, coach, don't worry. Don't worry I'll, get I'll, I'll get the I've next one. This. I'll get the next yeah, one. Yeah, As yeah. any good kicker will say. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this won't be the first time we'll be wrong today. No. So, so good hold. Snap. Good, good hold. Kick off the boot seems fine. Oh, but I think he's just faded it to the left again. Yeah, he had the time. Not much pressure. Yeah, no, Liam Bennett, he had it. He just, no, he just hooked it again. Uh, so north from two for the kicks from South Australia. Score remains six zip. Yeah, look. And New South Wales probably have to take that as a, uh, a nice sign of their defence, Nathan. They went for the field goal, not yeah. for the fourth down try. Yeah, it did. Yeah, look, I think I think that third down play call there was uh, with the outside linebacker blitz was that's uh, that sort of would. Make you think, yeah, you know, I mean, South Australia, two bad players in a row there. You think, yeah, you know what, let's just try and take the point. So that's a credit to the New South Wales defence stepping up when it looked like they're on the back foot. So, so plenty of work now for New South Wales. Shoebridge in at quarterback. Design run up the guts. Yeah, Doesn't Christian go for many Gato. yards. Christian Gato. Batty yard, it looks like. Put the head down, bum up. Three and a half minutes left in the first quarter. Six zip the score to the South Australian Sharks. The run again from New South Wales. Just off the right edge, just for another couple of yards. Looks like Andrew Stevens coming out there to make the tackle. Good solid tackle. Uh, New South Wales actually had a hatch back on the right side where they were running to, but he released straight downfield. And Stevens comes in. Nice, good low tackle. Third and eight from about the 22. And roll out to the left-hand side. Finds. No, he doesn't. Oh, Puts he, it he, down. He, he get, no, he doesn't put it down. He just stepped out of bounds straight away. A bit too close to the sideline there for uh, Jack Pritchard. Yeah. Pretty good protection there. Yeah, just, yeah couldn't, just, just couldn't plant the foot and stop himself. So, a bit disappointing for New South Wales. You'd like, I mean, the... the with a three and out here is that uh, it gets your defence straight back on the field. Yeah. Like South, these South Australian drives actually I mean the first drive was seven plays. The last one was about eight or nine. So it's yeah, it, on a warmish day, at least it starts to take its toll. Yeah, very much so. Very much so. So punt coming from New South Wales. Finds its way to the punter. It's Pritchard. Gets a nice kick on it. Looks like the sideline will win that battle, and it does. So South Australia are going to take over with two and a half minutes remaining in the first We're quarter. For the spot looks like it's yeah, it's going to be at the, about the th uh, the forty. So so we can see the offense huddle there for New South Wales, just in front of our commentary position. And Nath, if you're in that huddle as a, an offensive coordinator, what's your messaging at the moment? Look, the messaging here is it's like, don't worry about the score. You just need to get a first down. And essentially, it's just like, focus on your next play. Hit your blocks, get three or four yards, do it. It's, it's, you can't, you're not going to get it all back in one play. you just, just got to try and uh, build some pressure, for lack of a better word. 
South Australia with the ball, they go that quick pass in the hands of one of the Sharks and he has to piggyback. Michael Tedmanson. Um, he's a big boy. He's a big boy. He is an, he is a, he is an Australian rep. So he was, sorry, Tedmanson was the one who caught the catch earlier on the sideline where we couldn't figure it out. So uh, I was talking to John Rowe, the Australian receivers coach before, and he was singing Tedmanson's praises. So. 86 there, Michael Tedmanson. He's had a couple of nice catches so far. Yeah. And go with the run off the right edge, but it's stuffed pretty quickly. Yeah, zone stretch play. It looks like the uh, New South Wales defence did that all right there. So we're looking at the replay here. Uh, look, it was a uh, pretty good tackle there by... Uh, looks like... is that Was that Red Toss, number eight? No, it's number... Couldn't see who made the tackle there. So no, it was Red Toss, yeah. No, it was a pretty, pretty good run there. So back out there, Red Toss after... Oh, no, it isn't. I think we, I think we have a... Uh, yeah, no, it was Red Toss. Sorry. So, Rusby back. Got ages. Now he's going to use his legs. Takes off upfield. Makes a fair few New South Wales players miss. Nathan, there's the explosiveness from Rusby. That is always a danger with Rusby. Rusby's a very, very good athlete. Like this, you see him tuck it and go, right, I'm going for it. Bang. No, look, he stepped out of bounds. He probably could have got another yeah. 10 yards out of that. But look, he picked up, picks up the first down. I mean, he, he, he was... If he didn't step out of bounds there, yeah, he would have been inside the 20 there. So, look, South Australia, they're just getting straight back to work, aren't they? That's a, probably the first really big chunk play that the Sharks have managed to, to take on New South Wales. Aside from the touchdown. <laughs> they go with the pitch, pitch. to the left-hand oh. side. Boom! Thank you for coming. Marcos Delana from UTS Gridiron in New South Wales. And Daniel Pearson in there with a shot too. Let's have a look. We need a good look here. And yeah. that'll rattle your back molars. Look, Marcos celebrated, but I think that was all Pearson's shot, mate. That was a really... He, he, bought, the, he bought the load on that one. And with a minute 10 left in the first quarter, Nathan, can you use that just to give your, your defence a bit of a, bit of a kick start? Look, you definitely can. Any time big hit happens, any time big hit happens, it's a, it's a, it's a plus. Pass completed to the left-hand side. And they're loving the flat and they're loving the curl, Nathan, yeah, at the well, moment. It's, look, it's a staple of the air raid offense in South Australia. It's a very spread air ride type offense. And then just a quick there one. Uh, Jesse quick White and Jesse White in there. Uh, look, very nice. Crisp out, crisp cut, good catch. Turn to the outside, get upfield, get the yardage. Rusby's not rattled. That big he didn't rattle Rusby at all. He's probably still trying to catch his breath from his <laughs> big run. Offside, oh, free play here. Will he go? He does go long. Right-hand side. Oh, oh just, just out back. of bounds. Tedmanson, that's, uh, yep, size matters, doesn't it? That pass, if it was just a couple of yards short, Nath, we've got six points for South Australia. We're just going to see it here yeah, yet. No, he took off inbounds. Unfortunately, landed out of bounds. Pretty easy call to make there. But it shows Rusby's awareness there, just to realise. Yeah, you know, I've that's got to twice. Play. Both times he's had the free play. And he's going to take a shot. Yeah, no, that's... Um, no, that's... You like a quarterback like that? Good quarterback, good awareness, good arm, tough, can run. Can so, run, yeah, exactly. You're ticking a lot of boxes. It is, and that's a challenge. That's a challenge for a defence. It's yeah. If, if you've got a quarterback who can do a lot of those things, it's, it's, it's a tough day. Do you start thinking... Do you start thinking spy? You, you put one of your linebackers just to watch where he goes, or are you trying to concentrate on maybe taking the, uh, the run away from South Australia first? Oh, look, I think you take away the run first. Look, take away the run first, make the quarterback beat you. If the quarterback looks to beat you, you, you make the chance from there. So, but it looks like he is. So, look, it's, it's definitely one thing, either spy or pressure, one of the two. Under a minute left in the first quarter, South Australia try and go with the run once again just off the left-hand side. And it's Red Toss again much. with the tackle. Yeah, Red Toss, he flipped, uh, pursued that play down from the backside. It was a pretty good hustle there. They just jammed up in the middle there and Red Toss flows in from the backside. He's been probably taught football since he was eating Cocoa Pops at three, I reckon. Uh, I reckon his dad would be I'd drawing say, up plays for uh, a long I'd time. I'd say since it was uh, the uh, baby food in the high chair, mate. Yeah. Yep. That is quarter time now. So a really interesting first quarter here, Nathan. Maybe a few people thought that South Australia were going to win this comfortably, but so far New South Wales are in with the fight. And look, they are in with the fight. Look, it's, look, it's um, South Australia definitely have the upper hand at the moment. They're moving the ball really well. Um, they've uh, forced it to first, first, forced one turnover. Um, obviously, um, New South Wales they've had had two fumbles there. They managed to pick one back up. Or, or they've had uh, two botched exchanges there. One was a bit costly, but look, I mean. 
it's it's the old saying sometimes like would you rather be lucky or good and at the yeah. moment New South Wales are getting pretty lucky to keep this to six nil and you take that you yeah well, if you can uh, if you can force force an interception from Rasby that's probably something uh, easier yeah. said than done but if you can get back off a off a tip pass a fumble get some yardage because at the moment I don't think New South Wales have seen their attacking half. No, they haven't. They definitely haven't. I mean, look, their, their biggest play was that kick return that got called back. So it's, I mean, look, it's, yeah, you generate something. I mean, if, if the offence is working, you probably have to generate something with, with the offence. Oh, sorry, if the offence isn't working, you need to generate something with the defence or with the special teams. But, I mean, you can't, sometimes you can't force these things. Sometimes you can force pressure with the scheme, but it's just, you've just got to play your assignment and plug away and, and just realise if you do your job, good things will eventually happen. We are playing four quarters, four 12-minute quarters, and we are about to start the second. The sides have swapped, so South Australia... About second and seven to go. Or would you call that second and eight? Can't have been. No, uh, no, it does look a little longer. Yeah. They were uh, putting out on Facebook. They were looking for some people to run the chains. Always hard to fill those... Volunteer positions. Rusby in at quarterback once again. Play action. They set up the screen on the other side, but oh no, it was snuffed out for just a second. But South Australia slipping the tackle and making valuable yards there, Nathan. It's, it's that man Murden again. He, he's hard to. He can go up for a catch and he's hard to bring down as well. They they got the screen game right here. They set up pretty good. Bit of a hold on the edge there uh, by number 89. Andre Hall got away with it, but I mean, yeah. Yeah, Terrell Freeman if, if Murphy. They, if, if they don't call it, it's not a penalty. Yeah, that's right. Freeman Murphy just slipped off the tackle. Yeah, he's a bit costly. Yeah, it's first and goal now. So, six hit the score to the Sharks. 11 minutes and 39 seconds remaining before half time. And that one is stuffed right at the exchange. Yeah, was that, uh, that's Daniel Pearson there. And uh, McLean Horton again, see who gets there first. Here is the replay. Yeah, McLean, is... McLean Horton. McLean Horton, he get, did well, got past Tom Pincher there. And Rusby <laughs> just turns to his offensive lineman and says, boys, what's doing there? Yeah, that's, uh, that's costly. That's, that's, a, that's, a, yeah, that's, that's, that's and, a loss. That's a five-yard loss there. That's, that's, that's not pretty. No. Oh, but I mean, look on the flip side. Does open up room for those big targets at the back of the end zone. If they have a look at Tedmanson, he split out right to the right. Uh, Murden both on the right as well, so... But, Pressure, but he invades. Nice little lob pass over the top. That's that man, Tedmanson. And he's... There is the second touchdown of the day to the Sharks. Look at the Nathan, look at this. Look at the replay here. Saxon Leary with a really good cut block to spring Rusby to the outside. Um, the line all slid left. Rus uh, Saxon Leary went right. Cut the blitzer on the edge, or the end off the edge. Gave him time to find Tedmanson. And beautiful little lob pass on the run. Oh. Bit unfortunate there, though, the New South Wales corner. Andre Perko Marshall jumped that route a little bit too much. Probably looking at the quarterback, looking for the scramble. Uh, keep your eyes on the receiver. So they're going to go for the kick. Third time, will it be a charm? We're going to get a beautiful look at it here. And that one is straight down straight. the hated riddle. Good kick there by Liam Bennett. That's a bit of a confidence booster there. Yeah, he'll go back to the sideline and just tell the coach, I told you, I told you I'd get it. So 13 nil. And Nathan, you, you go to quarter time, you six zip down, you think, right, you know, New South Wales in, in with a shot here, and then all of a sudden, look, they got minute a and a half gone, you let one in, it's 13 zip. Well, yeah, look, they, look, they had their chances there, like with that screen pass, they had a chance to make the tackle there, and then with the uh, that really good play there by James McLean Horton to stuff Saxon in the backfield, you think things are looking up, mm. but then they just. Rusby, Rusby escapes the pressure, makes yeah. a play. Tedmanson back corner of the end zone. Beautiful pass on the run to the right-hand side. Yeah. So they've got some nice weapons. It's, uh, good football to watch so far. Now, Nath, we just want a nice drive from the Wolfpack. We do, yeah. Well, let's first let's try and get a nice return in. Yeah. Well, they, they got a nice return in their first kickoff, unfortunately called back. We think it might have been called back from some interference maybe from the New South Wales sideline. Bit of sun in the eyes for the New South Wales player. Start a step, then cuts back infield. Tries to make a few miss, but he's put on the deck. 
Yeah, if you look at the replay here, you'll see South Australia, uh, the, the centre and the right, they all get down there. Uh, get Ryan Ottens there, gets down there, breaks down. That's all you've got to do, get down there, hold your lane, uh, and just team effort to corral him. Uh, the officials are discussing here. We have a first down? No, no, look like they're getting ready for a penalty, but no. On the 25, not ideal, but in terms of field position. Yeah. They were been run heavy so far, New South Wales. I doubt that had changed too much. Quick pass to the far side. Nearly makes one miss and manages to get a few extra yards there at the death end, eighth with a good little leap. That's uh, Graham, Graham McNaughton. McNaughton. Yeah, nice. Just uh, we're talking about the staples of this spread offense. Nice little quick flat out gets out there. Ryan Ottens gets there. Shoelace manages to get him down at the last second. So, but good pick up. Good pick up of three, three and a half. Good solid start to the drive. That's all you do. Just one play at a time. They're going to go with this rollout once again. We saw it earlier for not many yards. He's going to dart upfield and he's put across the sideline. Nice little work there from Shoebridge. Shoebridge realised that his receivers downfield were covered and used his legs to take off. Yeah, yeah. No, look, he uh, made a good yard here. Zach, uh, Zach Caldwell comes back in from the backside to make the tackle. Good little gain there of six, sets up third and one. So, interesting to see what they do here. Um, like, I think it's uh, you back, you back, you back. You back your running back to get the yard that you need. New back in there. Quarterback right. goes up, so the sneak on. He takes off. Yeah, Does he get down. enough? Uh, he's got it. He's got it. Easy. Here's the replay. Nice little work with a bit of audible here. Goes up to the backside of the centre. Nath just gives a little, little tap on the centre's backside and says, let's go. Mate, best, best quarterback sneak's a quick quarterback sneak, isn't it? Yeah. Cat, cat, hopefully catch a defence still in their stance or still getting out of it. So, uh, first down here for New South Wales. This is a nice little running back here for New South Wales. I've had a bit to do with him. Ronaldo Gagano. Look, broke his collarbone a few months ago, Nathan, and now gets a run with the state team, having never played senior football. I tell you what, he might have broken his collarbone. There's nothing wrong with his feet there. Look, that was uh, blocked up in the middle, and he bounces out, so he made a really good play. That's what New South Wales need. That's consecutive first downs. That's, that's what they need to get a bit of momentum going. So, Coach Rocco for New South Wales, not afraid to cycle in a few running backs. He's probably used uh, three at the moment. I reckon Ronaldo is the third. Yeah, just a nice little thing. I mean, he's got the yards. Why not try him again up the guts? Good block there. Uh, someone flashed around the edge here from South Australia, couldn't quite get the number. Uh, they brought Ryan Nottens off the, right e off the uh, defensive right edge there to try and get some pressure. So, interesting to see what they do. So, Gagliano stays in at running back. Shoebridge is QB1 for New South Wales. They go with the fake handoff. They find a receiver in the flat, breaks one tackle, reverses field, now goes upfield, but he's met by a couple of sharks and still keeps the feet pumping late there. Just short of first down there, not as a Rustam Todd there. Good little catch, good effort. Yeah, he does here. Just breaks the tackle there. Comes back infield. There, a sliding shark, and two two sharks run into each yeah, other. And Bro Brody Jackman, oh, Brody Jackman Evans there came with a half decent shot on on Todd there at the end of the play to make the tackle. He's coming off and replacing him as a teammate at UTS, Nicholas Giovangeli. And they're being marched back here. I just missed the signal. Yeah, I reckon it's yeah that's holding. To, yep, to holding downfield, holding her block in the back. So unfortunate yep. for New South Wales once again. Another penalty, uh, proving costly. Yes, yeah. We have some apologies to the uh, the viewers at home and the crowd here. We haven't uh, caught the penalties yet. We'll have to do a better job ourselves. Something to improve on. Yeah, I'll have to fire the spotter. <laughs> so New South still with the ball. Nice little play off the slant there, Kristen. Gakuma. Yep, wipes out the penalty there. Real, nice real open hole there. Through behind the pressure. Yeah, he was wide open. Yeah, quick little slant there. The South Australian corner there, it was uh, Ryan Hassel, was playing a fair way off there. So, and he's now, he's playing about seven or eight off. So, 
Mm. South Australia with the timeout. That is their first of the half. 7.44 before half time. It's the South Australian Sharks 13 leading New South Wales zip. It's first and 10 on the 25 for New South Wales. So far, the two scores have gone to Tedmanson and uh, the running back, uh, 36 there, Saxon Leary. Just one of the touchdowns was converted via the kick. So that's what gets us to the 13-zip scoreline. Yeah. Nathan, your so thoughts so far? It's been a uh, really good game so far, back and forth from both teams. Look, it has been, yeah. Look, definitely New South Wales are working their way back into it. Um, we, I thought we were saying at the start we thought it could be a, a close game and a good game, and it's look, it's, it's shown that way. Um, look, I mean, South Australia have definitely... They have had the, the better running there, but New South Wales are strung together, particularly with... Uh, 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 Gaggiano, Ronaldo Gaggiano there, strung together a couple of good plays and it's jump-started it and it's, um, look, I suppose the thing, they need they need some points out of this. I mean, I mean you, you like the touchdown, but I mean, I don't know if they're kicking, but if they're kicking, you, you definitely take the points. You, you want to get something out of this drive here. So, Shoebridge in a QB, ball on the deck. New South Wales managed to pick it up and when the centre picks it up behind the line, that is not a good sign. We just praised Ronaldo, and he put it on the deck. Yeah, look, pretty alert play there by Oliver Probert there. He uh, gets every lineman's dream. He's like, oh, I've got the ball. He, he looked like he knew what he wanted to do with it. <laughs> he definitely did. <laughs> he's a football nerd, Oliver, one of the captains at UTS, and he's the centre for New South Wales, and he's an absolute football nut. That looked a little messy from the get-go, but it's... A nice little run to the right-hand side. They hand it off to Ronaldo there as a the lead. They bring the jet sweep in motion. If you'll see in the replay here, coming uh, from the right of your screen, number 81 comes in there. But they hand off to the back leading around. So I don't know whether that's uh, by design or whether the timing got mess messed up there. Because I think you'd want to hand it, you'd want to fake, if you want to hand it to the back, you want to fake it to the lead guy on the jet and yep. then go from there. But yeah, Otten's got Ryan Otten's there and got in the backfield again. Very smart, very heady player there. Couldn't make the tackle, but uh, definitely disrupted a little bit. Yeah, I'm just having a look at the uh, the body language from the chat going on with Ronaldo. So a rollout here for Shoebridge. Takes off with his legs, and it's been a feature of the game. He runs the tightrope. It's been a feature of the game so far, Nathan, the legs of both quarterbacks. Yeah, it is. This He, he did well to get outside here. South Australia looked like they had that play, uh, play strung out fairly well there. Uh, number 59, uh, Bray Jackman Evans did all right, but he just put on the jets and went the other end. Went to another level. Hassel just getting palmed off there. Look, it's not a bad play there. It uh, gets some of the yardage back. It sets up a, a fourth down and about six. So I think I'm going to roll the dice. Yep. Design quarterback run. He's not going to have enough. He stretches out. Ball no. on the deck. You won't be getting the first down here. Yeah, this will be a turnover on downs, and uh, the Sharks will have it. Yeah, look, just got two yards past there. I think they went back to the well one too many times there. Uh, number 25 there, uh, Trent Hoey came up and made a pretty good play there. He uh, made a couple of nice tackles, two plays in a row. There, yeah. Trent Hoey. Yep, 24-year-old safety from the Southern District Oilers. <laughs> so, only a five-team comp in the South Australian league Nathan they're proving to be very very competitive yeah look it's uh, not the number of teams it's the quality of the players that's right they've, they've, look they've definitely got some quality here they've shown it and it helps you got a couple of one three seven players on this on their roster that have represented their country so that's quality and they find another pass that's uh, in there to uh, Andre Hall so, go to the replay. Six minutes remaining before half time. Just crossed. Just came a nice little cross across the middle. Just got under the linebackers there. Helps when you've got the time that he's... The yeah. big hogs up front are giving him. Uh, this have been very impressed by this uh, South Australian uh, offensive line, their pass protection. So, having some issues on the run, but yeah. Oh, good stop there. Yeah, it's Rhett Toss in 12. No, uh, no Marcos, Marcos Delana, Delana 42. He yeah. snuffed this one out. We're going to get a good view from behind. They go with the pitch to the left-hand side. And Delana comes up. Jordan Harrison got through there uh, quite, quite quickly and easily too. Managed to just get an ankle tap on Rusby. Any time an option, you want to try and get a hit on the quarterback. I mean, it was not type hit he probably wanted, but it was, uh, <laughs> definitely got him on the dirt. 
So back to pass once again, South Australia. He's very good with his feet, Rasby. And now he goes long with the arm over the top and completes the pass. Is that our man, Tedmanson? No, that's our other man, Will Murden, there. No, he, uh, he's very good in the air, isn't he? Certainly is. Look at the time he gets here. This, I mean, look, I mean, Rusby made his feet to used his feet to make the play, but I tell you what, the, the he got a, he got a lot of protection there. This South Australia in pass protection, this South Australian line is doing an excellent, excellent job. Not only to get open, but he took the ball at the highest point. What coaches want to see from their receivers every time. Big pair of mitts, and uh, that's a. Big field turner. Rusby's going to go again. He looked to beat him with the arm. He's going to try and do it with the legs. But Delana comes off the edge once again. Yep. And he's managed to make a couple of nice tackles here, Nathan, in, in this drive. Look, he definitely has. And look, I think this is a pretty important one too. Because, I mean, uh, with Rusby, and he's, Rusby's feet's making a lot of plays. This is the first time where Rusby has escaped the pocket and really not been able to do anything. So, look, that's a... Yeah, look, uh, Delana's, Delana's... He's having a good game so far. He's very active, isn't he? Yeah, he uh, travelled with Team Australia yeah. to the World Cup and then had a few injuries, injury hassles during the State League competition during the year. It was battled back. Oh, on the deck here. Second. New South Wales have it and they are returning the ball, stepping inside. They're going to gain some yardage off this. Terrell Freeman Murphy. Well, wow, that's 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 a big break New South Wales are hoping for, wasn't it? Look, this is a good, tough, tough yard something by Saxon Leary. He kept his feet moving, but uh, we're looking at the replay here. It's come out in the pile. We don't know if it's been punched out or whatever I'd say it is. Leary's usually... And then gets a couple of nice downfield blockers. Yeah, and big, big Gavin Jones with the... Uh, Big Gavin Jones with the tackle there. He threw Terrell to the ground there. Bit, 197 and 128 has represented his state and the country. Yeah, the Australian left tackle, he's a big boy. His technique's fantastic. If you if you're if you're in a, if you like the line play, keep an eye on number 77, the way he's, he's blocking you today. He'll, he'll show you a few things. So defensively, New South Wales keeping up with the South Australians and nice little run here. It's Mitchell Kirk. They change the backs again. Yeah, so he's done a bit of kick returning Kirk, and now he goes into running back. This one putting his guts. To at the centre there, um, uh, Oliver Probert came out, really nice block, took, took the line to second level and just kept going. That's the top, top thing you want to see. You want to see that aggression. Picks up the first down. So just switches Kirk to his right hip. They go in motion. The... Snap was high. He's got to deal with it, Shoebridge, and he deals with it nicely. Oh, excellent play. We're talking about Rusby making plays with his feet. Shoebridge definitely did it there. That was a play that was blown up for all rights in the backfield there. Look, he's in there. Stuff, it, it stuffs up. Zach Caldwell gets in there, has his hands on him, but Shoebridge just escapes. That's, um, yeah, you need to make... Look, that, that's a pretty critical play. That could have turned out bad, and it turned out into a first down. So they're just sticking with them, the Sharks. The Wolfpack sticking with them. Countdown to four minutes to go pr prior to half time. Points at a premium here for the pack. And you think, Nathan, if they can get it to 13 6, 13 7 at half time, they've look, got to go into half time feeling very confident. Look, even if look, even if they don't get the score, I think they'll go into half time feeling pretty confident. They took a lot of pressure early and they're fighting back and they're driving the ball. So, look, I mean, yeah, obviously, if you like the points, but if they keep playing this way, do you take the confidence in there? Shoebridge goes with the arm. Receiver's got a step, takes yeah. it. Oh, out of, out of bounds. Unlucky there for us to... Unlucky there for Todd. Just out of bounds. Haven't had many chances to show off his arm, Shoebridge. He turns back to the ball yeah, and out of, out, of out of bounds by a good couple of feet there. Took off inbounds, went out of bounds there. Uh, the corner there, Simon Forby, really uh, didn't know where that ball was coming, got turned inside out there. So so they go, trips left here in, in the bunch. Oh, in the bunch, first time we've seen this today. Shoebridge is going to roll out once again. He's got a couple of men downfield. He's got a... Uh, out of bounds. And pass probably just flooded a little bit wide on the receiver there, 81. Look, South Australia got some good pressure off the edge here. Uh, number 48 there, Aaron Kempe. He, he hint of a hold there, but he managed to get there and get in the backfield. And um, 
So his teammates came in to clean up there. So. It was the first time, Nath, we have seen the, the, the bunch. It was, yeah. And uh, strange, strange enough, uh, we're not seeing it now. Mm. So a bit of confusion at the moment. Seems like the New South Wales player is just getting a, himself organised. They have a H back on the left. It's essentially a trips. Oh. There you go with the reverse. But to the big fella, McNaughton, right up rumbling the middle. Makes He's two, back. three, four beaten. That is a beautiful run. And the first touchdown to New South Wales. They get on the scoreboard prior to half time. Look, this was just a uh, misdirection. Uh, they hit him well. They, they hit him in as, a, as an up back in a down three point stance there. And look, that touchdown is just all effort. He got a couple of good blocks at the point of attack, but everything else, he was making people miss downfield. Look at this. Actually, one, up. two, three, four. Carries the fourth carries and the, the fifth fourth across the line. Yep. That is a beautiful run. He's a big boy, Grant McNaughton from the Nepean Ducks. Yeah, number five, Todd got down there to make a block, but he looked like he's going to hit someone in the back, so he pulled out of it good. And uh, no. Oh, it's a block. We could go two the other way. And they've got it. South Australia across halfway. It's been called. Oh, blown blown dead. dead. Simon Forby is away. He thought he had two points there. Yeah, they're now, flagging him for that. For the, the ball throw? Yeah, they're, I think they're flagging him for that. So here's the replay. Nate, explain you said he's going to pick it up and go for two. It's play on. Well, it, should, it, it should be anyway. It should be play on, yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, the block's made, I, so I have no idea why the whistle was blown there. No, I really don't, unless... Um, hearing maybe a bit of movement early, so... Uh, what is the collective now for zebras? Um, herd. A herd of zebras? Herd, well, I'll, go, I'll go with herd, yeah. There's a herd of zebras there. There's, here's the side on. Don't think anyone moved early. No, there's no flags early. No, the, I the, wonder the, if a referee... We are getting uh, probably referees in from a couple of different states... So maybe... Yeah, and look, the other confusion maybe, thing here is as well is, is the IFAF rules versus the uh, NCAA rules. Like, we know the NCAA rules fairly well where it's you're allowed to block it and return it for two. So they may be discussing here. And I wonder if that's where maybe a little bit of confusion has crept in. A referee maybe just said, he's probably going there, sorry, boys. We don't know yet. Yeah, look, but if, if, if we were betting men, and I know, Miles, you are a betting man. <laughs> I am. I'd be betting this was an inadvertent whistle, but we'll have to wait and see. And I th it'd be interesting to see what they do with the flag that's sitting on the ground at the 30-yard line. I think so that we think that'll be for an unsportsmanlike... Unsportsmanlike, yes. Yep. South Australian uh, player throwing the ball at the, at the Wolfpack member. Yeah. So, look, we've got some uh, zebras in there. We've got uh, Tony Martin there from Victoria. So here we come out. It's an illegal shit. Right. Illegal shift. We can't hear. We don't have a link to the refs. That's the dead ball foul for unsportsmanlike conduct on uh, on Forby. Yes. Well, so look, that signal there looked like a legal shift. We're going to try and find out exactly what that was because that was a little confusing. So the signal the ref made, uh, the referee head, ref, head, head referee made at the start there was for an illegal shift, which would blow it dead. So maybe we'll, let's just get the replay up if the, uh, the boys in the truck can do that for us. And they can. Thank you, boys. So here Look, it is. no offsides. No movement on the line. Everyone looks... Everyone's on the line. <sighs> yeah, hard to tell what happens here. We're going to try and get an explanation there. So like here's the reverse. It doesn't... No one's moving. There's no shift, no legal shift. I mean, you, they have seven on the line. So... If anything, the, the right-hand side of the New South Wales line didn't really uh, react... No, no, they're a bit slow off the mark. Yeah. yeah. So, and so that 15-yard penalty will be enforced on the kickoff, which um, I think, and you can see the South Australian returners are lining up about four yards deep in the end zone. So, I reckon this is a hint they want to run it out, to tell you the truth. Yeah, I, I think so too. I've got a feeling these boys want a bit of air time. They, they're getting the stream online. Yep, it is uh, Murden's back there as one returner. Um... A bit of me time. Yep, it looks like Jonathan Berend is back there as the other returner. So kicking off from the 50 on a 90-yard field. So it doesn't, doesn't don't take much to get in the end zone here. No, he's got a bit of a leg on him. Not a chip, Too Armstrong. Tell you what, sneaky chance, sneaky onside kick here wouldn't be a bad option. He's going to push this downfield, and they're going to run it out from three yards deep in the middle. Changes. Direction to the South Australian sideline, not going far. Good coverage there from New South Wales, Nate. Yeah, look, they got down there and made the tackle, so it's um, 
got the, 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 key, the key when you get down there and kick off, it's one thing to get down there, it's another thing to get down there and get off the block. And uh, look, they did a pretty good job of that there. So, And we have our spotter just returning and uh, yes, the old, the old. We, have, uh, we still don't know what happened there on the extra points. So um, yeah, we uh, there was might... No illegal shift. There was definitely no illegal no, shift. marking that the PAT was... Yeah, so uh, the signal there wasn't illegal shift, it was just marking the PAT was no good. So we'll go from there. I might try and find out at half time Yes. What rules, uh, not what rules we're playing, but whether or not they can return. Busby Long, ah, just outside the reach of his receiver. That's Andre Benjamin there. Yeah, they play. They do play together at club level. They do have a connection there just off. It's... Oh. Oh. Tell you what, that was a home run, Nath. It was. Look, he, he, look, he, got, he got behind the coverage there. He, yeah, no, that was um, a bit of a missed opportunity there. Andre the safeties said. are quite deep. Look, for, uh, New South Wales. They are, yeah. They're playing. Two, they're playing. Uh, it looks like it's man uh, cover two man under here. They've got a uh, man coverage on the uh, receivers. This pass, good Murden. hit. Murden again. He's a, uh, and they're in, they're, look, they're operating. Uh, they are South Australia have been operating in a hurry up. Looks like they're trying to get a, a much quicker pace here as well. Nice little catch here by Murden. He just finds the holes mm. in the coverage quite well. He just um, he's just got that knack for getting open, doesn't he? So 242 and ticking. Busby to the left sideline, completes the pass. Man tackled in bounds. You see the, the swinging arm indicates, if you're only just watching for the first time, maybe you've got a friend playing, the swinging arm indicates that the clock will continue to run. Yep, Jesse White there. Nice little move. He gets the ball down, gets his feet down and gets upfield straight away. So second and five. You've got to think Busby's sinking downfield at the moment with a couple of long shots, and his legs have got him out of plenty of trouble, Nathan, but on this occasion, they couldn't get him. It's not going to be there. Look, Jordan Harrison flashed in there early. This has probably been the first real pass protection breakdown the South Australians have had there. Pearson gets in there, gets involved as well, um, and it looks like there it was um, uh, Ian Walker-Stretton uh, with the sack. So. so third and five here, Nathan, counting down to the two-minute warning, and you probably get a little bit of a... Question mark in the head if you're the coaches of South Australia. Well, look, New South Wales have definitely taken some life from that touch. Yeah. They've, they, they've, they've definitely come in here. They, they got lucky with the, uh, the, that uh, Rusby just missed on that. Uh, the yeah, massively. Well, yeah. At the yeah. moment, we'd be almost well, fin- we're, going, lining up the, for a kickoff at 20 to 6. Yeah, it would be. But like I said before, would you rather be lucky or good? Mm. Some, a lot of times you take lucky, wouldn't you? <laughs> so. And uh, Nathan, we, we can see the. Uh, Queen, uh, it's Queensland versus New South Wales in the in women's game uh, afterward. Yep. And we'll be streaming that one from about three o'clock. They're all uh, here early. Sorry, two yeah. thirty. They're all here early. Yeah, not a right. bad, uh, not a bad little crowd in attendance. Yeah, no, it's, it's a it's pretty decent crowd here at, down at the Hurstville Oval slash Velodrome. So, considering the uh, traffic problems on the roads to get in here, it's, uh, it's quite a healthy crowd. Yeah, bloody smog everywhere. They're back burning in the Blue Mountains, and it's pretty much covered most of Sydney. Yeah. But it's turning into a beautiful day for football. Big third down here for South Australia. Must be back. Oh. There's a quick pass. And that's Andre and Benjamin. And for more yards. And keeping his feet. Wow. He's got some moves, doesn't he? He's a uh, really nice to watch. Number one for South Australia, Andre Benjamin. Look, He's... he just held up his slant route well. Held up, waited for the ball. Tucked away, accelerated. And he ran hard at the end there too. I mean, look, he, um, Darren... Akarolu uh, had a shot there to put both, it back on him. Both nah, number ones for South Australia in Benjamin and, and McNaughton for New South Wales are big, tall, strong runners. Oh, look, I, mate, compared to you, uh, Andre Benjamin might be tall, mate, but I think he's definitely shorter than McNaughton. <laughs> yeah, good point. One, so definitely 172 a, for yeah, Benjamin. But yeah, he, definitely a strong runner, mate. So He plays tall. He looks tall. Yeah, and I, I love him. Nath getting to these games and just watching the myriad of jerseys out there. There are a few, isn't there? Yes. We've got a, we've got a Mike Singletree, Chicago oh, look, I, to the I, right. I, love, I love, love the old school Mike Singletary jersey on the young bloke here. So it's um, fantastic. It's obviously his old man has been a fan for a long time. And yep. We've got a... Yep. So now, just after we just had to point out here that uh, Andre Benjamin, actually, he uh, he's only had one season in Gridiron South Australia. Oh, wow. Actually has some overseas experience in the States. So he's... Um, I'd say he's someone who is uh, talking about growing up with football. I say that's one gentleman who definitely has. Yeah. yeah looks at too. He, he looks sharp, doesn't he? I haven't need to get involved because Murden's carried the receiving load. So 
Well, Sandy, when you've got Here we go, your number down. two receiver, uh, who proves to be pretty good, Busby has time, uses the legs once again, finds a man underneath, and that's Murdoch go again. across the sideline. 12, 13. Look on the replay here, number 41 from New South Wales. Yeah, look, he, uh, number 41 there, um, Stephen Armstrong. Probably had a case for a holding penalty. Go to the back of his jersey, but um, yeah, it's not a penalty unless it's called. So inside two minutes here, South Australia are going to have to work fast. First and 10 from the 14. Look, they're in pretty good scoring position here. That um, you'd, uh, Unless New South make a play, you'd back, it, back him to do something here, wouldn't you? And you've got to be wary of this man's legs. Rolls out to the right-hand side. Flying Good coverage line. from New South Wales. Just has to get rid of this one. Completes Murden. the pass. Gain of four to Murden. Now, it's interesting that our Saxon Leary's not in the backfield at the moment. It's Liam Bennett's there. So, uh, Liam's, you know, for the last couple of plays, Liam's been going to the flatties. So, he's, he's been picked up. So... But I thought he might have been open before. It'd be interesting to see South Australia set up the screen pass here because I reckon we're at due for one, I think. Yeah, they did set up a few uh, earlier in that first quarter. We haven't seen one since. They've got a man right across the middle. Pass just behind him. Just behind Benjamin there. So, yeah, Rusby had to throw it behind there. It looked like there was a linebacker sitting there. So, going to get a good view of it from this here. back angle. Yeah, no, the, the guy in coverage there made a, made a half-decent break on the ball there. So, can New South Wales stop the Sharks? Third yeah. and seven. You, well, you wonder what they're going to do on fourth Good down here. Busby there. gets away from another one. Oh, pass just out in front of his receiver. Mark, Marcus Delana got in there and forced the pressure. Uh, got in there from the outside. Came buzzing off the edge, yeah, Rusby did it. I reckon he probably had a little bit more time to set his feet yeah. that throw there because, um, look, Tedmanson had some room to work with there, so... And he's look, a big boy, Tedmanson. He almost could have just stood in the corner and... Yeah, definitely. And, ...and taken it. Yeah, yeah, look, I think Rusby had a fraction more time there, so... New South Wales player down, so we're trying to get, an, uh, get our eyes on who it is. So... It's uh, number 94, 94. It's uh, James McLean-Horton. Played very well in that first quarter there. He's probably New South Wales' best def defensive um, performer in that so first quarter. So he's from there. the Northwestern Predators. He's down on his back. What are they, work what are they working on? Is it, look is it ribs or is he done a knee or something? And he's got both his legs yep. on the deck. I don't know what they're... Yeah. I'm just going to pull him up. So look, it's... Uh, that sets up a fourth down. So I think we've seen the officials there. It's uh, a flag on the ground that has been waved off. Um, so no penalty. So in New South Australia, you get to, I mean, New South Wales, instead of going third and 20, you'd rather go fourth and 10. So you have got to make one stop instead of two. So sets up a fourth down here. I'll tell you what, Liam Bennett's back there. They're going to, uh, no, they're not going to kick this, I thought. So fourth down. About 10 to go. As far as this... Game goes. No, no it's 15, got fourth and fifth. They're 15 yards out here, so yeah. Pretty important play coming up. If New South Wales can stop them, they're going to go into half time with a whole stack of confidence, you've got to think. Busby back to pass once again, over into oh. the far corner and batted away Der there by the Number DB from New South Wales, uh, Darren Arcolo. A very good break on the ball. Rusby had a guy flashed open, Arcolo flashed on the ball. Murden was, Murden was there. He was there for a second, but that was a, that was a, that was a pretty good play there by New South Yeah, South no, defense. very nice yeah. and a real confidence booster. Definitely. You've got to think for that defensive huddle when they go into half time. Yeah, look, uh, South Australia been hitting those uh, out passes all day. So, look, I mean, that was a deep route. It wasn't one of those quick ones, so had a bit more time to play it. But, yeah, it was a nice... I reckon a, when, nice, I reckon nice when Busby let it go, he thought six. He did, look, yeah, look, it was, look it was, the throw was on target. It was, yeah. Here we go, Shoebridge, he's going to take a shot. This one long and wide in a double coverage, but he yes. just got out the back and safety just rolled over the top in time. It hung in the air a little bit too long. Bit of confusion. Looked like Seth Strain, uh, look, safety switched there, so just hung there. Oh. So for, uh, Forby there, if Forby didn't have the safety help, he might have made a fatal error by jumping that too, a bit too early. Yeah, Rust and Todd, hard one to keep your eyes on the ball when it goes through four hands, but <laughs> if that one sticks. Yeah, that's a big gain there. So, 
Under a minute to go here for New South Wales, and they're going to have another shot. Left sideline. This one's got a bit too much on it. They're not going to die wondering, are they? No. Shot. Yeah, nice aggressive play calling here. Yeah, Rocco's obviously seen something. The coach for New South Wales, maybe just seen something that they're going to try and exploit. Pretty good coverage there. Uh, that was uh, number 26 there, Ryan Haslin coverage. I mean, he, he was backed off a fair bit, but he uh, was in position to really, so, yeah, if that, if that ball was coming down, he was... Only the one time out for South Australia, so just got to wonder what New South are going to do here on third down. They're going to pass oh, over the middle, oh, and it's intercepted. That's four. The Sharks with the ball. They turn upfield down the right-hand sideline, and the tackle made, unfortunately... The first error there from Shoebridge. We just uh, we were just making before how uh, Forby was a bit under high on that previous throw to Todd. Forby in pretty good position there. Makes mm. that's, a, that's a pretty good play. Broke on the ball. And that is actually looks like it's going to be time there. I think time expired on the play. So that's probably, uh, unfortunately, that's probably the difference in the shots. They knew that they had under 20 seconds to exactly, go yes, and yeah. could have three shots exactly. uh, downfield. Let's, uh, we're going to take a short break here from the commentary position. And uh, in 10 or so minutes, we'll be back with the second half. It is 13-6. And uh, uh, just, just, just in case everyone is interested, the, uh, this is more for the, uh, the, the uh, people here at the crowd. The junior outback are manning the canteen. They're trying to raise money for their impending trip to the World Cup in China. Nice. Um, by all means, if you sit at home watching this on the live stream, feel free to send money if you want, but you probably won't get food, your food in a hurry. Yeah, no, let's go get a uh, sausage sandwich and we'll be back with uh, everyone on the stream and everyone here at Hurstville Oval for the second half in about 10 minutes or so.
Saxon Leary. Welcome back here to Hurstville Oval. We have a second half of action coming up. The South Australian Sharks currently leading the New South Wales Wolfpack in what has been a very entertaining game of gridiron so far. Both sides providing a fair bit of excitement, Nathan. And, and so far, if you're having to give out a man of the match award, my three votes have got to go to Mark Rusby. He's really entertaining to watch. He's got a good arm and legs to match. He, look, he definitely does. He's, uh, he's, he's got himself out of trouble a couple of times to make plays and keep drives alive. Um, and as you said before, he's at the line of scrimmage, really controlling the tempo of the game, um, getting themselves in good position to make plays. So it's, look, he's, I def, definitely he's probably been the, um, the standout in this game so far and the difference, the difference between the two sides. And look, it does go to show that New South Wales defence has done a pretty good job in that second, in that second quarter there, clamping down. Because the way Rusby was playing, he thought they, they could put up three or four scores. Yeah, yeah. easily. And I, I made myself run across over to... Uh, Rocco, the New South Wales coach, and, and just had a quick chat with him about what he said to the boys at, at half time. And I said, oh, geez, I, I like the look of this Rusby. And he said, well, we just keep giving him the outside. He, I don't think he was happy early on the way they defended against him. And they certainly, as you just said then, made some adjustments to uh, sort of just stop uh, those rushes he had uh, early on in that first yeah. half. And look, I suppose half the key is getting pressure on him, but it's, it's the type of pressure you get on him. Look, if they um, if they send guys in uncontrolled from the outside, he's just going to step outside. Yeah. You just you just run guys out of the place. So, look, I know New South Wales. They're running a three-four. They're running a three-man line, um, and with four linebackers, and they're giving their linebackers a bit of flexibility to blitz off the edge. And so, look, um, I know um, uh, Marcos Delena. Um, right near the end of that first half, caused the miss throw on what we thought could have been a touchdown in the corner. Yep. Um, to Tedmanson, he. Um, by Delaney coming in hard, he came in a little bit under control and actually fought, he came a bit out of control and forced himself out of the play and like let, affected the play that way. They probably need to break down before they get to Rusby. You, you want, if you want to force Rusby to run, you want him to run back up the middle where you've got linemen and inside linebackers waiting for him. So, but yeah, giving him the outside, it's, it's, he's one-on-one -on -one with corners and outside backers and he can outrun the pursuit. Both teams playing that spread, so the quick pass has been something we've seen uh, sort of four, five, six times from South Australia. The, the curl and the flat have been the staple that they've gone to uh, early and often. And we have Liam Bennett here ready to kick off, so pretty yeah. good second half. I'm looking forward to the second half. What about you? Uh, it's really going to be a really interesting uh, game here. New South Wales will probably come into this start of the second half full of confidence. They played really well in that second quarter, and a good kick return here would give them a really big boost. What can they do with it? They reverse field. They head across to that South Australian sideline, but there's plenty of red jerseys there. Not a bad return. Look, it, look, it could have been better. The New South Wales uh, blockers, they sort of got up to about the 30-yard uh, line and just sort of stopped and waited instead of going to engage and try and create, punch a hole through that uh, South Australian kick coverage team there. So, so that was Gagliano back from UTS. Look, he, uh, look, he's got some moves. He had two good runs earlier. I mean, did, I mean, did, uh, did Rocco say anything about using him a bit more? Uh, we actually didn't, didn't chat about that. We chatted about uh, confidence levels, and, and he thought they were a big chance of getting up here. It's just those costly errors. We spoke about a couple of the penalties that led to touchdowns. Yeah. That one no, going nowhere. There was a whistle. Ball ends up on the deck. No, nah, look, this one's blown dead with forward progress there. Uh, South Australia, good, good, good work by the front four, getting pressure in there. Um, and I think it's number 48 there coming across. It was um, uh, Aaron Kemp to make the tackle. So. so New South Wales. In trips now, trips to the left. They retain possession. A rollout, which has been a staple of Shoebridge's game so far. He's got to get those shoulders turned. The pass. Jack Pritchard, they're waving incomplete. Oof. So. I think he just might have trapped it. Get a better look here. Always hard rolling out to the side of the field that... Uh, okay, and that's a tough throw is for opposite sure. Your, he's opposite your throwing. Like, if you're a lefty, that's the natural way to roll out. So they are rolling out to the unnatural side for the right arms quarterback in Mark Shoebridge from the Northwestern Predators. 
He's going to try and dart up the middle. He shakes he's one tackle, and now he's off into a bit of daylight. Big step and a hurdle. I think he's got just enough the first down, too. Ah, lovely play there from Shoebridge. Oh, to it. Andy, Andy, Andrew Stevens thinks he's got a sack there, but he just kicks out of it. and uh, oh, Yeah, try, tries the hurdle, but uh, gets cleaned up by Damien Volar coming across late. So, has got, But more importantly, has got the first down. So first, first down of the half goes the way of the Wolf Pack. This run not going very far at all in the hands of Mitchell Kirk. Yeah, and that's uh, Aaron Kemp there coming in to make uh, coming over the top to make the play. Just penetrating from that. Uh, no, sorry, I correct. It's uh, number forty-five, Josh Francisco from that uh, left end spot. So uh, played well against Western Australia the other week. Actually, I thought I was uh, watching that game the other day. There you go. Trips to the left-hand side, New South Wales. Shoebridge rolls out under pressure, gets through the first line of defence and now has a bit of pasture to run into and goes out of bounds. Uh, another missed opportunity for South Australia there. Damien Vola had his hands on Shoebridge, but Shoebridge again, strong, isn't he? Kicked out of that. Yep, no, number 13 there. Oliver Edwards thought Shoebridge might have tried the hurdle again. So he nah. sort of kept his feet there, didn't go low, kept, kept broke down, kept his chest up. But yeah, so, Shoebridge, he, he looks small, but he's strong, isn't he? Yeah, really good runner. Strong at the hips. He puts this one into Kirk's guts, and it's going nowhere. This one will be whistled dead. It's pretty much been the Shoebridge show in this first drive, Nath. He's probably had three or four runs and he's gained two first downs Definitely. for the Wolf Pack. And look, look, he doesn't make those runs. New South Wales are punting now. It's as simple as that. Those oh, are and they're punting from well back. They're yeah, yeah. inside their own half uh, without his legs. That's second and 11 now. Breaks down. You can see him barking out the orders. They go the reverse. They put it down and pick it up. Oh, I think Pritchard lost about three or four on that play there. So... Uh, yeah, uh, looks he lost he lost he lost six there unfortunately. Number sixty six, Damien Voller on the tackle. Just dived down, tripped up. So third and eleven. Been a good drive, has taken nearly three minutes off the clock. Yeah, look at this is um I think Rocket. This is an offside, so this yeah, will be free a free play. play if he can do anything with it, which he can't unfortunately. No. Ball ends up on the deck, but that won't matter. Yeah, look, Josh, Josh Francisco got in there, got a bit of a jump, and he ends up making the um ends up making the sack, so that's definitely an advantage gained by that offside. That's the uh, the unfortunate thing. The two times South Australia have had a free play. Uh, their quarterback in rugby has been back far enough to be able to pass this time. Yeah, uh, look, the South Australians got so far through the line yeah, that but, uh, Shoebridge had had no opportunity even just to put up a prayer. Yeah, no, no, no chance. But I mean, yeah, you just you take you take the five yards. It's um, just the way it goes sometimes. Do you think it's two down territory here, knowing Rocco like you do? <sighs> From here, look. <laughs> You, you think so? You just won. I suppose these boys have nothing to lose now. Uh, a, a loss isn't going to um, mean anything for you, and a win's not going to take you through any further in the competition. Once again, Shoebridge has to put his head down, bum up, and just try and make yard after yard. Yeah, pretty good coverage by the South Australians there. Shoebridge, um, I think he is going to yeah, look hunt. It's, yeah, it's fourth and eight, so... Tavol has been pretty active this first drive. That's another tackle by him, so... So yep, they are going to punt. They are. It is well, essentially, because because we're dealing with a short field. This is essentially it's, they're 33 yards from the end zone. So, so you, nice directional punt on this one. Really try and yeah, you want to pit in the corner because if, if if you punt at the end zone, you've basically got a net gain of 13 yards. And yeah, if, yeah. If that's no a net point. gain. You might as well go for it. Yeah. So, but look. And he goes oh, the, the, the torpedo. Line? Needs a good bounce. Uh, not going to get it. No. Nah. That's, that's uh, from one of your experience calling the Swans games. Curls back towards the post, me. Yeah, away, didn't you? Nah, I thought he was just going to go the drop punt, the, the end over end style yeah. that we see uh, the Australians coming into the NFL using uh, prolifically at the moment. But he, he went the traditional torpedo kick. And Unfortunate problem with the torp is when it hits the ground, you don't know where it's going to go. No, exactly, you? exactly. So there we go. Let's see what South Australia can do with his first possession here. So. They've had a long break, good four-minute drive 
by New South Wales. 8.23 on the clock here. New South Wales trail by seven. Run straight up the guards. They kick it out with a bit of open space for South Australia. And when they go to the run, Nathan, they, they have been able to crack a few. And we obviously saw the first touchdown of the day coming off a long run. Yeah, it is. Yeah, look, that, that, that play there was um, number 17 there for New South Wales, uh, Tyrrell Freeman Murphy. He was in position to make the play there, but Saxon Leary, the, they had a double team on the outside. Saxon Leary just uh, made him miss and uh, stuck his head down and managed to get pick up nine very handy yards. Good tough runner here. Back to pass. Look at that. Just evades the rush with ease. Another little hurdle as well. Good block there on the edge uh, by number 86, Michael Tedmanson. He actually uh, hit Rhett Toss just in the right spot to knock his helmet off. If you look at the replay coming through here, got him. Oof. Yep. Leary in open space. Le Leary's he's a good tough runner, but he's got he's got he's got some slither in open space. So it looks like he got first. Never place. understood how you can have your helmet that loose where it just pops off. I used to have mine done up that tight. If it popped off, you were going to find my head inside exactly. it somewhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Never liked the feeling of a uh, of the helmet rattling around. South Australia go to the run once again. Freeman Murphy there really trying to go at the boy. Got to they, think a whistle coming blow, soon. Yeah, they should have blown that dead age ago. There was four. Forward progress was, uh, yeah, look, I think South Australia got... That's what uh, Rusby's pointing out to the officials. Yeah, Come look, on, the, boys, what are he, you doing? He wasn't going anywhere. That's back at the It's line, blown so. back now, and we're going to keep going and going, so... Well, I think the officials... I think common sense might rule here, and they might actually put it back at the original spot, so... Like, sorry, but back near the original spot, so it would have been about a one-yard loss. But, no, look, I think they've called in... They're all having a discussion. Yeah, so... Uh, Head referee Brian Curry out of Victoria. They're calling second down. Tell you what, real smart uniforms from South Australia too. I'm liking their look. Yeah, it's not bad. And the boys from the uh, South City Chiefs, they've got a beautiful helmet on them all there. There's so a no, bit of look, burgundy uh, and gold out there as well yeah, there for is, a, yeah, a Redskins. Redskins fan. Unfortunately, I think South Australia got gypped there. Lost a three on the play, so... Now, I oh, might get it back. How much time's he got? And absolutely rattles one in. Makes a couple of miss. Freeman Murphy couldn't get there. Good work the by first. Saxon Leary. He just can't bring him down in the first go unless he gets stopped in the backfield dead to right. They've been threatening to do this. They've been sneaking the back out a fair bit lately. Cause, um, and it's, uh, yeah, look, Rosby giving him the pointer, saying, get, get, break out there. You've got some space there, Saxon. So, yeah. And Freeman Murphy had, it was right with him. It was good coverage. It was just as he broke when. Rusby said, get out there. Yeah. Another sign of a, a controlling quarterback, just telling his men where to go. Back to pass, looks for the quick option. And that is just a staple of this Sharks offense, Nathan. That quick little pass gains them three or four yards and they can just keep rolling on downfield. Yeah, just check it down. That's good enough for a first down. Sets up now first and 10. So, mate, right. Murden's, had, Murden's had a giant of a game here. He's played very well. Be a bit sore on the plane ride home, I reckon. He's taken a few hits too. Run up the guts once again. Del Martin was able to beat Delay in a little nice little step and then goes the roll back inside and all of a sudden the troops come from New South Wales. Yeah, that's Saxon Leary. That's six yards the hard way there. Look, a jump cut that was going inside zone. He stepped it out there. <sighs> Gee, kicked out of that as well. That's yeah, that's just that's just talent. So the thing with South Australia is they got the backs lined up. I mean, Rusby's, I mean, in this shotgun here, Rusby's sitting at five to six yards and Saxon Leary's sitting at nine. So he's actually got a fair bit of ground to make back just to get positive yardage. So, so South Australia have just controlled. Got a little bit messy there. It was almost as if he just took the ball off the quarterback, runs to the outside, puts it down, and he has a teammate right in front of him. That's Chano Ewan. That's a, that's, that was a nice, handy run. Bit of a change of pace back here. Look, he was very patient, waited, waited, cut back, and then bang through the hole. Yeah, we haven't seen much that's of his first carry. He's definitely his first carry today. From Adelaide University. I think uh, from, from my understanding, defending champions in the Adelaide competition. Happy, ah. to be, happy to be corrected by the viewers at home, but yeah. And this, this looks like a timeout here. A few people taking a knee, so there might be an... It is an injury oh, timeout. the injury Number coming off now. Stephen Armstrong again, so... He's been battling <coughs> nearly from the first drive, I reckon. Might have been the second drive down on their uh, line when Rhett Toss got injured. 
To, he uh, was injured at the same time, so he's been battling all afternoon, Big Armstrong. I'll tell you what, I reckon uh, the only person happy at this injury is uh, Stephen's physiotherapist. You reckon he's look, oh. looking for a few weeks of work here? Yeah, they're trying to stretch him up. The backup quarterback. Le Saxon Leary's back in after a one-play break. First and goal. Yeah, going nowhere. So New South have managed to, to stick with him for long periods of this game. We haven't seen yeah. in this drive, Nathan, the big long run. No, no, we haven't. It's yeah, been cut thing. That was a really good play there by Daniel Pearce and the uh, linebacker, inside linebacker for New South Wales there. Scraped the hole, was very patient, didn't overreact to Saxon Leary going left and sort of Garrett going to his right and then just um, slid in the hole and made the tackle. Now, two back set. This is the first time we've seen South Australia do this. They've got Saxon Leary as a fullback and a pistol, and they've got Chano Yun in the backfield here. Definitely run coming, you think? There's the read. Breaks through the first tackle, but then the defensive line for New South managed to come up. And yeah, we were talking to the New South, uh, sorry, the South Australian coaching staff for the game, and they said, they said, yeah, in short yardage and stuff, they would stick with their spread offence. So obviously they decided at half time they want to change this up a bit. So yeah. that's the first time we've seen them with two backs. So, and then. They're sticking with it, no, they're yeah. sending Sax this, uh, flexing Saxon Leary out wide into the slot, so... So we get a jet down. sweep, will he come across the face of the quarterback? Potential. Maybe down. a chance for a reverse, but he's just going to run it out here, Busby slings it in! And it's a touchdown to the Sharks! Andre Benjamin did very well, he wasn't... If you look at Rusby here, he just slides left by some time, waits for the window to open, slots it in oh. there. That's a, that's a gutsy throw. That's a gutsy throw. There's a, light, there's a safety buzzing underneath that, and he had the confidence he's on to get it in there. Yeah, Aaron Noakes from, from UTS for New South Wales was, was there, but Busby, like a shot out of a cannon, let it rip. We've got another, another injury. They're starting to drop like flies. New South Wales. <laughs> oh, let's see. <laughs> so the New South Wales... Physio staff doing a load of work coming off. There's Ian Walker Stretton. And setting up Liam Bennett going to take the kick here. He's uh, one of two on the extra points. Uh, missed his only field goal today. This will get him back up to 50% for the day if he can make this. wonder if he's the special teams coach and just keeps calling his own play. <laughs> here comes the kick. It's a good piece of it. Yeah. And it is through the upright. That so with. With four minutes to go before three-quarter time, South Australia 20 lead New South Wales 6. That looked a bit like one of your kicks, Murray, back in your playing days. Just, lean, 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 uh, just lean back. Lean back and just poke it through. Yeah. Uh, not a lot of power in that one. No. Just make sure you get it straight. Look, really impressive opening drive there from... Um, from uh, the opening drive of the half there from South Australia. They... Um, they, uh, for a team that professed to be 70-30 as a pass-run team, they, they ran the ball a little bit more than... Yeah, no, most definitely. A little, bit, a little bit more than spec there, so it was... Um, yeah. So two drives gone in this third quarter, and we've got four minutes to go, so they've been really long drives yeah. and full of quality. There haven't been too many defensive uh, mistakes from either side. We haven't seen a, a long runaway touchdown or a... Long runaway touchdown pass from a, from a breakdown in communication or coverage, which is really good to see. Well coached teams out there this afternoon. And it's a shame, Nathan, that these teams only get to play each other once. I'd love to see these two teams play a second time after a bit of film study and, and review. I think we'd get a, a really uh, much better quality game if these two teams got to square off once again as... Uh, Gagliano comes steaming back into the line. Yeah, good good job there by the South Australian uh, kick coverage team there. If you look at the replay here, this right side, they get down there and they just sort of form up a wall at around the 30-yard line. So it's like, look, you can get back to the 30 here, but we're going we're gonna to get you. So it's, um yeah. I mean, look, I think that's, that's, the, that's the thing with the AGL because it is... It's, it is a, a, it's, it's quite costly to travel yeah. around this country. So it's, we would like to see you play twice, but unfortunately, one, one is the model we have at the moment. And it's um, first and ten from New South Wales. Look, I think it's pretty critical. They, they probably want to get the points out of this drive here. Yeah, if they get down a third score, it's going to be awful, awfully difficult to come back. And that first run is stuffed in the backfield. Different running back now. It's uh, number nine, Christian Gateau. Ryan Otten's in there on the tackle with Aaron Kemp. 
They have stuck with the run. Predominantly New South Wales. Shoebridge has dropped back to pass really on only a handful of occasions. Second and nine for the Wolfpack. Parking orders can hear Rocco from here. Yelling out to his charges. He's in all sorts of trouble here. Shoebridge just gets this one away. Yeah, good bit of pressure there from um, Andrew Stevens and um, it's uh, Aaron Kemp again. He so. rolls out almost immediately and almost probably, Nathan, rolls himself into some traffic. Well, look, it could have been worse there. I think Andrew Stevens uh, went through the line and actually stopped to look and check for a run. So, look, if he'd come through there full, uh, full pelt, Shoebridge could have found himself in trouble. So, look, I think a little bit lucky there. Just you throw it away, set up third and nine. So. Trips to the left-hand side. He sends the running back onto his left hip. Drops back to pass. This one across the middle. The one-hander can't be taken. Yeah, look, good attempt there. Uh, pretty good coverage there. Benny Loudon there, number 11. He tried to... Look at the replay here. Yeah, went with yeah. the one juke because it was behind him and yeah. nearly reeled it in. Yeah, uh, I said pretty good coverage there, but I actually think uh, Benny had a step on the coverage there. It was just a uh, throw. It was just not quite in the right spot. So sets up... Uh, now it's now fourth and nine, and uh, the obvious call from this end is the punt. You put the punt, and I uh, hope your defence can make a play down the other end. Yeah, probably got to get a better piece of it than he did in that previous punt. Ooh. Nearly goes over his head, so he's just got to concentrate on getting rid of it. <sighs> New South Wales boys yelling out as if they'd seen it. A yeah, touch look, on for the South Australians. What, number, number 18 for South Australia there, Lee Rayner, getting a little bit too close for comfort. If you're the head coach or special teams coach, you're like going, the ball's rolling around, what are you doing anywhere near it? There's the poison call. The on, old get away poison from call, it. yeah. Yeah, no, it's... Um, so for those who aren't just tuning in maybe for the first time or aren't fully aware, Nathan, if on a punt, if the ball hits any part of the receiving team, it's a live ball play on. It is absolutely, absolutely there. So you don't want to get around the ball in case you get blocked into it at a ball, but it takes funny bounce. So you'll hear the, the returner, he'll wave his arms and yell out poison, and that's when it's your job just to, to get out of the way, run to the nearest sideline, get yeah. out of the way of the pill, another run up the guts. And get a feeling South Australia are just happy to, to play the run game at the moment, soak up time. They're getting yeah. three, four yards a run at the moment. Yeah. Well, look, Good yeah. enough. It is. Look, yeah, they're, look, they're making some yardage. I mean, I think it um, wasn't the best block by there by Tom Pincher and uh, number 30, John Tamanavalu, came through and made the stop on Saxon Leary. But, yeah, look, you get yards, second and eight, eight yards short of midfield. It's not a bad spot to be in. I think that was a little run pass option there. A couple of the receivers dropped back, but it's an absolute beauty of a run. The spin move along the sideline. First down, good tough yards there by Saxon Leary. That's at least a uh, that's at least a 16, 17 yard gain there. Oh, Tamanavalu can't quite make the tackle. Good block down there field by Jesse Whiten. Yep. Nah, Sax Saxon doesn't look like he's getting tired. They've they put him off for a break here, and then they're gonna put uh, uh, the running back from um, uh, Chano Yuen back in, so got, got a little bit more pace and Rusby, so we'll see what happens here. Back to pass, look at the time he's a got. Lot of time. He'd write his memoirs from back there, but now he's got to get on the legs. The arm, oh, oh. good defence from New South Wales. Yeah, I think it's uh, that's uh, Calvin Crichton from the Predators. Look, Rusby, all the time in the world. Jordan Harrison gets through, someone peels back to get him. Just yeah, all the time in the world there. Probably a little bit short, short arm that a fraction. So if he had his time again, he probably would have wanted to step into that one a little bit more and give his receiver a chance to make a play up high rather than uh, bring the D back into it down low. Second and 10 now. There are, I think there are. Back to pass, has time again. Man coming across, gets it along the sideline, does run out of bounds. That's so. That's Mer Mer Murden again on that little quick out. He gets quick out, gets his tick. Um, you see here, he's actually not a quick out. He's crossing from the other side, gets his uh, hips, hips and shoulders square in upfield, makes a tackle, uh, make, makes a makes a defender miss, gets a close to a first down. So it was a, a pick up of um, seven there. Let's have a look at the New South Wales bench, and I think the backup quarterback David Ward might be getting a run. He's going through a pretty extensive uh, warm up. Wow, they just, Saxon Leary just gouged right through there. That's a first down. That was um, 
Yeah, he's pretty to watch at the moment. It is. Look, the grit, you know, Gavin Jones, good block. Just that, that guy's a monster. Just filed back in. Linebackers fill in. Tom Pincher with a pretty good block there as well. Another injury for the New South Wales. We could even have two at the moment. Yeah, I think David Pearson's down there. That's a couple Pearson, of the sorry. South Australians showing a bit of uh, care for their opponent. One's down with a cramp. Yeah. Pierce, uh, Daniel Pearson's walking off, holding his arm or his shoulder. That's a big loss for New South Wales. He's uh, he's been uh, he's been everywhere players. for them this afternoon. He has, yeah, yeah. He's um. Oh look, number number forty one again. Down Stephen the... Armstrong. Stephen Armstrong. Wow. Hate to be paying his medical bills. I would see it. Yeah, look, I think he... I reckon he's cramped. He could nearly have cramped in every muscle he's got. <laughs> I tell you what, he, his physio is just putting out a, a new order for his brand new Audi <laughs> right now. <laughs> but it's a fair effort. He comes off, he gets a massage, he has a stretch, and he goes straight back out there, which is all he can ask for at this level. Yeah. Representing his state very well at the moment. Yeah, it's just a flesh wound, just a flesh wound. <laughs> So, yeah, Yun's, Yun's, uh, Chano Yun's back in the backfield now, so. Rusby. First and Offside, it'll be free play, oh, but no. No, they, I think they've caught, caught the lineman moving as well, so. Let's get the old 1050s in to the Zebras, see what the yeah. call is, but we think it'll be. Yeah, Brian Curry there, uh, the head official coming out. He's going to just trot out. He's caught, it is offside on the defence. I think it might have been unabated to the quarterback. or So that's why the, the whistle it's, it's, it then gets to a safety. It does, uh, yeah. yeah. I, would, I wouldn't mind another look at the replay, but I mean, oh. But I think it was either, it's either unabated or it's uh, the lineman moved, it's like the offensive lineman moved when he's in neutral zone. So that's just an immediate dead ball situation. So look, first and five, this, I mean, you've got your two big guys, Tedmanson. Oh, you've got trips on the right now. Tedmanson on the outside. I wouldn't mind betting they take a shot here. I mean, I, I would. First and five. Yeah, a couple of nice big tour receivers for him to look for. Quick pass, complete rolls in it. Nice tackle there from Delana. That's Murden again. That's look. I think he's getting pretty close to ten catches now. That's um. He's he's had a big day here. He was the inside receiver on the trips. He just ran the quick out, sat down in the hole. Delana came across. Rhett Toss couldn't quite get across there to get a tip on it. So sets up first and goal. Uh, five. They're about four yards out now. <laughs> They go by air or by leg. They're going to try by air, although he's a great runner in that one, just a little bit wide. Yeah, a bit too much mustard on that one there for Mark Rusby. He had um, he, Jeez, had, he can had zip moves. it. He can, yeah. Well, he's when he's when he's got his weight moving forward, he can put he can throw some rock on it. He's a, he's a yeah, just a bit too far. He's a he's a, for a quarterback. He's, he's quite a stocky kid. He's not your tall, skinny, gangly quarterback. He's look, he's he can run. Oh, obviously, obviously, that's the understatement of the year. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, he's um, yeah, big, solid through the hips and the uh, and the and the thighs and the trunk, and that's that's where you get your throwing power from as a quarterback. I think we're second and goal from the four-yard line now. So Liam Bennett in the backfield now. They have been able to roll a fair few receivers through and a fair few running backs through, and here's another one for South Australia, Benjamin. the number one, Andre Benjamin. It's his second touchdown catch of the game here. Just a quick little hitch. He comes back to the ball a fair way. I mean, Too so, strong. Yeah, look at the corner out there. I think it was uh, number 20 there. It was um, Darren Akaroglu. We'll see it here now. He actually makes a pretty good drive on the ball, but Benjamin just adjusts and keeps coming back to get his body between it. No. Nope. Too easy, just a bit too classy there. The 30 year old from the South City Chiefs picks up another touchdown, and they're probably just now kicking away 26 6 with. And they're going for two here. They're going for two, the first time. The pass to the right hand side is. Delane has got it, he's got a chance to run for two if he gets a block. No. Nah. Nice work there from Delane, and if you're. Uh, just wondering why he can play on. He can score the two points because the team's going for a two-point conversion. If the defensive side gets it they, and they run it back, well, then it's two points and just two points for the defensive side. Look, and we did in the first half, we did have that opportunity when it was yeah, a the, block the kick. The look, at our, look, our understanding from that is it probably was an inverted whistle. I'm um, going up and talking to some of the uh, officials from, who are looking for the next game. It, um, yeah, that's what it looked like. So it's... And this is oh, probably one of the harder game. games to referee when you 
uh, are bringing so many people in from so many different areas. It is, it, it is a bit. I mean, look, I mean, this is this is a, a pretty much a, a fairly experienced crew here, and they'd all be used to being uh, the head referee or the umpire. Yeah, that's their right. And having to go think. Look, they do work well together. It's just it's uh, yeah, all it takes is one one whistle blow, and it's unfortunately it's like players one mistake. Yeah, it can happen. So, look, I, mean, I think it's I think it's fair to say it's not affecting the results so far. So. Let's see if uh, New South Wales can get something started here. So we've got um, Ronaldo, Gaggiano and Mitchell Kirk back to take the kick. Oh, that's that's a shocker. Yeah, it's a scrubber. We'll go across the sideline. They don't let it get there. Kirk picks it up off his shoelaces. Doesn't really go anywhere, does he? <laughs> Jack Pritchard must have missed a block because he ended up on the deck and he, if you catch him at number 13, he whacks the, the ground in disappointment at himself. Kirk... Just keeps running into uh, nowhere, and Ryan Ottens yeah, no, comes across. Outback rep Ryan Ottens, very experienced player, yeah, played, the, played at a high level. So yeah, look, he's um he's he's, he's, the, he's been he's been on all the kickoff coverage so far, and he's actually been down there either making the tackle or getting in close and occupying the blocker to allow the tackle to make plays. He's, he's played played very well on special teams in addition to his normal spot at linebacker. So new quarterback Dave Ward, the old stager, the big white towel on the legs. He runs himself in and everywhere, wow. then goes straight up the guts with a lovely left foot step at the end of the run, and it's on the deck. But New South Wales, I think you'll Benny find Benny Loudon picks it up. I think you'll find this is coming back from a holding in the middle of the line here. There's a rip flag down the bottom there. Yep, there it is. Uh, just on the edge of screen there, uh, dragging down the South Australia player. So I can't get a number. I think it's number 65 who did it uh, for the Matt Wilson from UTS. I think it was a big ranger, the yeah. big redhead. I, I don't understand when you got. Big mop of red hair while you go with the big big red beard, which Matty Wilson does, big ranger. It's a bit confusing, but... <laughs> and just for those at home wondering why Murray Canellan is uh, picking the eye of a lineman, he actually is a teammate, former teammate yeah, that's of yours, right. is he? So you can get away I, with Yeah, yeah. Any, anyone away from with... UTS that I give a bit of stick to, it's yeah. all in jest, and yeah. he knows I'd be saying this exact thing. Yeah, uh, it's unfortunate. Now it's set up... Uh, now it's... Uh, Oh, that was half distance to the goal, so now it's about because it's um, said it's on the 10-yard line, which is actually the five. So I think you find it's about first and 18. So a bit of work here for the pack to do. David Ward, the new quarterback, has represented Australia at the outback level from numerous the times. West Sydney Pirates drops back. Pass is complete to Ben Loud and juggled it. Took it on the second chance. Gain of four, it seems like. This is Dave Ward's strength. Get the ball in, get it out. Uh, probably not, not as quick as he wanted to, but look, he was, uh, he was definitely looking to his right, and he came back to Ben Loudon on the left. Um, it is now three-quarter time. So it's... Yeah, so look here. Good little out there by Loudon. <sighs> yeah. Nah. See, hits him in the midst the first time. He juggles it to the corner there, number 26, uh, Ryan Hassel. Didn't quite make the best break he could. I think he broke under that a fraction early, so, yeah. Dave Ward, when we talk about Dave Ward representing at the outlet, out, outback level, I think that actually undersells just what Dave Ward's done this game. Dave Ward's been a part of every Australian World Cup campaign as a quarterback. So oh, really? Wow. Yeah, the 1999 Cyclones, and then he was again part of the... Um, uh, he's been part of uh, the... Uh, I'm trying to think. I'm sorry, my memory escapes from the 2003 trip to Europe. Uh, he also played in the World Cup in 2011, and I... Th if memory serves me correctly, he's part of the 2015 World Cup campaign wow, as well. Wow, fair effort. It's over 16 years. He is, yeah. Look, he's still going around. He uh, got some action in the New South Wales Grand League Grand Final last year for the West Sydney Pirates. Yeah, yeah well, they've been one of the big uh, big improvers in the State League over the last few years. Yeah, look, I mean, look, the thing, thing with Dave Ward, I think I think people are wondering, geez, what's Dave Ward still doing in this game? I think I think Dave, he still he still likes, he still has a passion for the game, and I think he still he wants to win that elusive New South Wales title, doesn't he? Yeah, well, 12 in a row going the way of the uh, University of Sydney Uni Lions. Only the one Lion uh, in this side this year. Here we go. It's second down now. They're just adjusting the down marker here. There you go to that Trips bunch. She's in a bit of trouble. Evades. Goes to the pass. Doesn't have much on it. Loudon takes it. He has it. He juggled it, but he secured it just before he got the ground. First down. Oh, there's a flag down at the line of scrimmage. I get the feeling this is holding again. No, it's an eligible man downfield. That's unfortunate to that one. 
Benny got o Benny Loudon got open. Dave Ward did well there. Look, he doesn't have the legs of Shoebridge, but it just uh, he doesn't need the speed. He just needs just need to change direction just enough. But unfortunately, one of the linemen was downfield when he didn't need to be, and that's uh, that's scrubbed a first down play for them. It's just these penalties that New South have been giving away at some really inopportune times this afternoon. Yeah. So this is at the uh, 20, so this will be five yard penalty. It, remain, it will remain second down, so I think we're back to that uh, pretty much we're in our first, the second and 20, unfortunately. But they, brought, they broke out the bunch set on the right, so. Ward gets it, fakes the hand off, then goes up the middle, it's oh. behind. Oh, and the South Australian player had it for it. Simon Forby, he had a pick in the first half here, he drops that. Look at, look at Dave Ward's pocket presence here. Any young quarterback here, look at this. He doesn't panic. He just steps up, slides around, gets it out. Bit too high. Oh, Forby. I think he was uh, thinking what he's going to do with yeah, the Yeah, most certainly yep. he was. Would have been his second pick for the game, Simon. So they Back spread this out. one two by two. Ward comes to the line, barks orders now, goes back. Calls the snap count. As it once again, the pass, that one, oh geez, McNaughton was too high for uh, one of the Wolfpack and he nearly ducked and Grant McNaughton. So he's a big target, isn't he? I, th I think they should have been using a little bit more in this game. He runs a really good uh, corner out there, uh, just drops into the spot. Basically the only way that's where Dave Ward put that on the inside, the only way his receiver was getting it was incomplete. Very safe throw. And the good thing is uh, down it now sets up fourth and two. So. Absolutely, you're going for this, aren't you? Oh, they're late substitution. They're subbing out Benny Luden. They're putting in Christian Gateau. Oh, no, they're not. Actually, they're punting it. They're punting it. I thought they were going for it here. My apologies. A bit of confusion. Actually, no, no, no. They're not, they're not punting it. No, 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 no. They're setting up. Dave Ward. Sneak. Dave Ward is there. Yeah, sneak. You called it, mate. Oh. And stuffed from the get-go. Well played. Zach Caldwell slipped in there, made the tackle. Dave Ward didn't want to go straight to the guts. He sort of wanted to skip out to the left there. Zach Caldwell got through, stayed patient with it. Look at sliding down the A-gap, gets off the block. Uh, yeah, good work by the big fella there. Also, a big uh, credit to number 96, Modra Paulson there. Stood up, stood up left guard there, made the stop. It was a bit confusing there. We looked like it was a punt set. We couldn't see yeah. Dave Ward out there. And then they were subbing guys in and out. So You can see Rocco trying look. to have a chat to him now. South Australian, pretty good field position here. So, unfortunately, this, if, if they score here, this could be the dagger. It's a, one more thing, make it a four-score game. It'd be pretty tough for New South Wales to come back from here. So, just a reminder, we'll be broadcasting the New South Wales versus Queensland Women's League match as soon as they kick off. Once again, South Australia just... Murden again. They just keep here. rumbling down the field. We started to keep stats here. Uh, a good nice little quick, uh, nice little quick um, slot screen there. We started to keep some stats here, but because of our commentary position, we haven't been able to keep them real well. So, but it's unfortunate because we'd like to find out how many catches we actually have uh, for Will Murden. Because I, yeah, he's, he's in double digits. Yeah, oh, easily. No, easily. he's been, uh, he's been one of their better players. Oh, pressure up the middle, loses his feet. Look how much time he's got. And the pass just over the top. Tyson Bateman, he thought he had him there. Look at this, number 55 for, for New South Wales. Matt Rutledge gets through there. Rusby, look, you've got all the time in the world. Tyson Bateman, half a step, just oh, just a bit too much gas on it. Let's go. Down third and once seven. Again. Look, yep. look at the time. time. Almost yep. thought something had happened. He had that much time. I was looking yeah. around to see if there was a flag down or... Third and eight. back to live coverage. A little Liam swing Bennett. out to the left-hand side. He's got men in front. Oh. Marches through a couple. Really nice work there from Liam Bennett, That's the 25 year old from the Spartans. Look on the edge here, just out of screen here. Gavin Jones comes down here. Just as a corner, you don't want to see that coming. Oh, That's, no, just, no, that's all over Ed Rover. He's not making that tackle. And Liam Bennett recognised that. Tuck him behind the big fella, get the first down. There we go, get to drive live. Bit of a sub out now. So Bennett's back there. Andre Benjamin comes Benjamin running to the left. Benjamin comes back. He's yeah. nearly have a blinking light on him. Yep, yep. That, 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 the hot button. Yeah, this is where you know you're going before the play even starts. But he rolls out. He's got time. He's going to use his legs. Steps up field. Yeah, I think he had a pretty good block there from um, 
Uh, Liam Bennett, I think well, Liam Bennett's going off there. I think he actually made a decent block on the side there to, to spring Rusby for a few extra yards here. Oh, they actually didn't know. He got wiped out from behind. Um, number 55, uh, Matt Rutledge ran up the back of Liam Bennett, so he's on the side. I think he might have lost a bit of his helmet, actually. You see him just the edge of the screen there. 11 second yards out. Oh, sorry. No, second of five, 11 yards out. 26-6 the score to the South Australians. And they go with the run up the guts, and he gets stuffed immediately. Chano, you not a lot of yard, not a lot of space for him there. We, uh, we'll get the replay from the end here. Looks like some good penetration through here. Uh, number is that man number 94? Yep, number 94 again. It's uh, James uh, McLean Horton. Just just get there, just disrupt, just really disrupted that play there. I think we've got a new right guard, new left guard here for South Australia, so I think that could have been part of the issue. Back to pass, pressure off the edge to Benjamin, makes the first miss, but then three Ooh, of the pack come over the top of him. I think they're getting, they, he's close to a first down here, they might have to measure here. You see the Queensland women getting out onto the field here, for, ready for, they can secure a national title with a win over the New South Wales women later on this afternoon from 2.30. Uh, looking back on the field, I think we have a New South Wales player down injured. Um, uh, no, it's Pearson, just a bit slow to get up. Yeah. He's been another player banged up yeah. a fair few times this afternoon. Yeah, that's all right. Looked like a bit of friendly fire. Now, it depends where they spot this. this no, I think they're spotting it short. Yeah, they're spotting this short. It's going to be fourth and inches, basically fourth and about six inches. So do they go to the two-back set? Doesn't look no, like it. No, I think, yeah, watch, watch out for an option here with Rusby. Yeah, we oh. haven't seen many pitches from them uh, in this second half. Yeah, look, option in New South Wales, three down linemen in cat and inside gaps here, so I think they'll, they'll be going outside off the edge. Oh, and they get a free play. They're not going to go on it, but what uh, will the call be? Yeah, uh, Unfortunately, I think that's offside. I think New South Wales just giving them the first down. Yep, they are. It's offside here. And yeah, that's probably the... Replay. Yep, there we go. Jordan Harrison jumped in a bit early. It's probably the fourth offside penalty that the yeah. Wolfpack have given away this afternoon. Yeah, look, and South Australia subbing back in uh, Ty, uh, Tom Pincher, their left guard. We talked before about how uh, Ch uh, Chano Yoon got stopped on that uh, previous run. It was uh, Tyson Blanco was in the guard. Now he's uh, subbing out, and uh, Tom Pincher's back in. So here we have Yoon back in. So first down. First down from the four yard line, or three and a half yard line. Options are plenty for South Australia. It's just which one they will use. And none, because they are stuffed immediately. And one of the MVPs for New South Wales today has got to be number 42, Marcos Delena. In there again for the tackle on the quarterback, Rusby. Yeah, I don't know what they're trying to set up there. It looked like a draw, but it looked like you had uh, the, the guard there, number 58, uh, Hugh Stevens, heading out for a screen. So it was either a draw or... Yeah, it was a bit of confusion there, so... Second and seven from the seven. Rusby back after barking orders at the line to pass to Benjamin. He's got it to spot. Oh, no, he hasn't carried it through to the ground, but that is going to be a flag for pass interference. He was We've definitely... got it. Yeah, We've got one... Yeah, Guy it's... calling a touchdown. One yeah. ref called a touchdown. But unfortunately, look, if you look at the replay here, Benjamin gets it. If you catch it in the end zone, you have to survive contact with the ground. So look, let's look at it here. Let's see if he does or really throws. Yeah, no, that's, uh, that's come out. That's, he hasn't secured the catch. That will not be a touchdown, but I think you'll find that will be a pass interference penalty and it will be first and goal from the three-yard line. Here's Brian Curry with the call here. Yep. So nice here's the pass. replay at full speed. Nice little touch pass yep. to Benjamin. Yeah, it makes uh, number 22 there. We haven't got him on our team sheet. I think it's um, I think it's Daniel Calvin Crichton. Uh, makes and there, Nathan, for, for anyone who's sort of unaware, you've, you've got to make an effort to look back oh, look, you've got to at make, the ball. You do have to make an effort to look back at the ball, but the simple thing is you can't make contact. That impedes the receiver from catching the ball before the ball's caught. And the ball wasn't there. He's contacted the receiver. That contact has impeded him. That's a pretty easy flag to throw. So two now, back set. They got the two back, back set. set. When do, will they pull out a little trick play? Breaks to the outside. And Chano Yuen. They touchdown. waltz in. <sighs> nice work from the when, Sharks. They've busted this one open in the second half. 34-6 with the PAT. 
Look, Saxon Leary is looking for someone to block there, number 17. Um, for there, he's just he had a chance to make the play on the edge. I think that's uh, one of the juniors, Terrell Freeman Murphy. It's his first it's his first exposure at state level football, so it's uh, he's made some plays. He hasn't done well some others, but look, he's going to be better for the experience, isn't he? Oh, most definitely, he'll uh, he'll certainly play Div One for uh, the UTS side in the yeah. upcoming season in the Sydney League. Yeah. Going to go back to the one pointer. Yep. To make it 33 to 6. The kick is good. He's good. He's got it. So after a couple of little nervy ones early, he's been pretty good since then. Yeah. And with about nine minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, it's the South Australian Sharks 33 leading the New South Wales Wolfpack 6. And if you look at some of the Wolfpack players coming off the sideline, you can see they're a bit dejected, they're a bit tired. They know that their, um, their 2016 state campaign, campaign is coming to an end, but it's, it's, um, it's, time, it's, it's times like this you see the character of a football side. So I, th I think if um, out of this, it's look, they've had, they've had some chances, but they'll be definitely wanting to look to finish this game strong and just... Just execute a few plays. It doesn't necessarily mean about score. It just means about keeping the fight going. I mean, look, South Australia haven't... I mean, people look at this score and think it might be a bit a bit of a blowout, but it's not. New South Australia have had to work hard for everything. Oh, yeah, they've most, de most they've, they've certainly. Yeah. If, we, uh, if we had total plays, it would um, be very interesting to see how many plays it's taken South Australia to get to these 33 points. Liam Bennett with the kick, uh, getting ready to kick off again. He's done this a few times. Let's have a look at this uh, South Australian front middle six, see how they get down there. Really driving kick to Kirk, and he gets to full speed pretty quickly. Bumps off one South Australian, then comes back in underneath another. There's that man Ottens again coming in late to make the tackle. Uh, I think it was number 45, Josh Francisco, get down there. If you look at the middle of the screen here, Josh Francisco comes and blows up this wedge pretty good. So it blows up on the lead blocker. Never good to run into your own man either. That, yeah, that cost him a little bit. Yeah, yeah, Otten's in there to come over and make the tackle and uh, Kane Rogers to help finish him off. Big fella, Kane Rogers. And also for New South Wales, it's about building. This is only uh, Coach Rocco's first uh, sort of season as such. First go at a, at a state program. On, on his own, yeah. He has, yeah. Yeah, yeah he, has, he has been involved in his previous one. So, look, I mean, they're going back out with it. They're trying this bunch set again here. So, let's see what Dave Ward, Ward can do first and 10 from the 25. Or from the 30, apologies. There you go the run to Gekiano. He's had a couple of issues putting the oh, ball he's on the back deck, out. but he bounces it. Nice work there. And we've got a... Late flag coming in from the back charge. Hard to see what that is. There's also a South Australian down injured down here. Look at this by the centre and uh, centre here, number 50. Good double team there at the middle. Just get a good surge. He does it and he actually breaks the tackle here from Ottens and cuts back away across the grain. So it's a, that's. Oof, good yeah. tackle in from the side yeah, as well of, from bit 82. Of a, bit of a rib tickler. We're trying to see what the. Um, it looks like uh, the penalty here, he's pointing it towards the South Australians. Ottens is down and Ottens is coming off. It is a face mask on the South Australians at the end of the run. Unfortunately for South Australia, if you're looking at home, Ryan Ottens, um, your national team linebacker representative, has been carried off. It looks like he's uh, he's hurt himself. So uh, we hope we hope uh, we hope it's nothing too serious, and that he uh, and he's right to go for this season. Interesting for those Jared Hayne fans. They the 49ers cut Gaskins, Kendall Gaskins, who was a running back there. Yeah, Gaskins didn't do much last year, so... Just another one out of the way. I just want to okay. look up... There, there's your obligatory Jared Hayne reference for today. Yeah, <laughs> I had to have it. All, we're talking about gridiron in Australia. You've got to <laughs> slip one in. I'm contractually obliged. Right, yeah, first and ten here. Because he did back. come through the UTS gridiron side, Jared. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to find out. Ronaldo's been... Off at a oh, university oh, slot. Off the hands of Todd there. War Dave Ward, he knows it too. He thought he had a chance to complete that one. Yeah, just... He really fired this one. Oh, almost just, there. He saw it too. He thought he had the, he thought he had the slant just, just in the hole in the coverage there. So, And, of course, uh, while you're here all afternoon, make sure you get across to the canteen because any uh, profits that the canteen makes this afternoon, it is for the junior outback side. They're 
going to China. And oh, there's a sack by number 66, Damien Volo. He's had a bit, bit of a busy game, especially at the start of that third quarter. If you look at the replay here, um, he comes in, just gets off the block of uh, number 60, uh, Bo John Ryan, and just slides in and makes a tackle. Dave Ward tries to step up, just can't quite get away. So some of those big boys are looking a bit tired out there at the moment. Yeah, it's been a long afternoon and a tough one for the Wolf Pack. 33-6 to score with little over eight minutes remaining in this fourth quarter. Ward drops back to pass um, and completes it. No. So also, no? No, no, no. McNaughton, I think he decided to run with it before he actually had it secured. So. Wouldn't mind seeing McNaughton on uh, one of those little reverses again, like we saw him from yeah. his uh, touchdown run in the first half. Yeah, look, yeah, look, he had it. Yeah, he just yeah, tried to run with it beforehand. A hand there from number 82, Brad Vergara in there didn't help things, but yeah. Now it was, it's now it was third and 18. Now it's fourth and 18. So I think it's um, because of the sack. So I think uh, it is. It, yeah, it looks like the punt team is coming out. Jack Pritchard's out there, so. I think I put this down, hopefully put this down in the corner. Let's see what the defence can do. Well, the, the last punt, the snap was high and he did a good job of... Yeah, good, good point. Yeah, they ...reining it in, so hopefully this snap... Yeah, adventure's in... Uh, as, as I can. Oh, oh fake. fake. Fake's on. He's calling the pass. He runs it himself. Now gets the pass off, coming oh. back to it. Great play there by number 23, Jesse There's White. There is a flag, flag the coming side. in the back there. Jesse Whiten did well to come back up there. He was he was a return man. You see, shut in the whole way. Didn't overreact. Didn't panic. Just came up. And also not to down. intercept it as well. The bat down yep. in your game don't, yards. Yeah, don't get greedy. Yep, spot on. Don't get greedy. Just bat it down. Take the spot. We'll see what this flag is about. It is an eligible man. Is it? Yeah, unfortunately, I think it's going to be an eligible man downfield. It's going to be South Australia ball. So South Australian ball, about eight minutes left in the fourth quarter. And as I was saying, make sure you get across to the canteen to get your food and drink because it does support the junior Outback Australian gridiron side in their quest to go and compete at the World Cup in China. Yeah, no, ineligible. Not a, not a cheap exercise. It was ineligible and we couldn't quite see what the other signal there was. So it looks like it's, um, it, is, it is most definitely a first down. South Australia will decline the penalty. As you would, and they're marking off. Um, yeah, I get the feeling they're marking off 15 yards. So I think it's unsportsmanlike, unsportsmanlike or a personal foul. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Just you can't keep giving these South Australians free yards. No, they. Yeah, that's, they, they're too good at the moment. They are. They are definitely. And we saw that so, off the uh, their first touchdown came from off the back of an offsides penalty that gave him a jump start on third down. Yeah, so this has set him up with a real short field. So first yeah. and 10, they're only, what, 32 minus the five, only 27 yards out from the end zone. Just wonder if after seeing, oh, oh. straight up the guts. Saxon Leary. Jeez, he's good. That'll be beautiful to watch from the, the head on replay. Here we go, sit here, let's sit here. Yeah. We've number used that word unimpeded a couple of times and he nearly went straight through. Number 58, Hugh Stevens got it there, got a body on uh, Rhett Toss there, popped it right open. Nice work, nice second level block. Back to live vision. The Sharks, two by two out wide. They go back to the run. And this time it's not going anywhere. And that's that man again, James McLean Horton with a good bit of penetration for Saxon Leary to stop his feet and try and jump cut. So, yep. There we go. Good work. And yeah, the new centre of South Australia, they've put Tyson Blanco in at centre. So it's. Um, Just wonder if after seeing a trick play from New South Wales, if South Australia go to the back page of the playbook, Nathan. Why, why not? Why not? Fine one. You've got, you've got the win. Why not dump out all your plays? Yeah. I think they've tried a couple of reverses through this right. campaign. This just another run up the guts. Liam Bennett, nice uh, couple of yards. They're tough. We, we here. see here, Rusby just barking his order and his cadence and another strong yeah. run. Yeah, good tackle there by Red These South City Chiefs, there's plenty of them. There are. Plenty of quality players too, so. Time out. And that is their first for the half here, so. 
You see on, man. Yeah, see, I did. On, see on screen the big boys here just having a bit of a breather. Oh, aren't they going to need it? Two, two Razorbacks there in Tyson Blanco and uh, Gavin Jones having a chat. Now, I got my Jared Hayne reference in, but let's chat briefly. Uh, Blake Muir and Adam Gotts, a couple well, of yeah. linemen drafted by the, the Broncos in the second round. That's a terrific effort. That is, that is, that is a fantastic outcome. Georgia, um, Georgia Tech. Tech, the that's the one. Yeah. Look, I mean, the thing with the NFL draft is they, they don't draft you for what you've done. They draft you for what they think they can do. And obviously the Broncos think highly enough of Gotsis that they think he can be a he can help possibly replace someone like Malik Jackson, who, Malik Jackson, who went away. Look, Blake Muir's had a... Um, he's both played both at Hawaii and at Baylor, so he's had some exposure to top-level competition, and he's an undrafted free agent at the 49ers now. So, look, if he makes a cut and Hayne survives a cut, we could have three Australians as skill position players in the NFL, and that's unheard of. Yeah, and then that's there's a, a couple of kickers at the Jets. Uh, I think it's Hackett and yeah. uh, Edwards yeah, we go third going down. against yeah. each other as well. So, big third down coming up for the Sharks. They've been good on third down all afternoon. The pass complete. They roll it out. Oh, I think he's just been pushed out of bounds. That's Tyson Bateman. First catch Must of the day. Must be inches in that one. But once again, Nathan, quick pass. Right-hand side yep. has been money all afternoon for it these Sharks. Been, yeah, that, that, that short little spot there. It's, um, yep, oh, sorry, that short little flat there. It's... They've done it well, like like like, a tradi like most traditional spread offences. They, they look at that area, they've been peppering it, and they've had some great success there. Where's our man Benjamin? Andre Benjamin. Oh, look, I reckon you'd hand it off here. Liam Bennett, he one yard out. No, they're going to throw it. Going to go the aerial option, and there it is. Your man Benjamin, you called it. Is that three? That is his third, yes. And that's just too easy. Beautiful slant. You can just see him the whole way during embarking his cadence. He's looking left, looking left, looking left. Yeah, no, it was um, yeah, just probably a fraction too good there for Mitchell Kirk. Was it Mitchell Kirk in coverage? No, sorry, my mistake. It was um, uh, Daniel Gow from the Cobras there in coverage. So it's probably just something uh, New South Wales giving each receiver probably three or four yards and we've yeah, got a player having to dart off here the old count and you, when you get to 12 that's not a good number not to a get good to number. on a good yes. on field you do not want to get to that number Liam Bennett for the kick here oh bad not snap. a good one they're going to try and make oh, something out of this New one. South oh, Wales are away ball on the deck once again punched out it's going to end in a midfield pile oh, number 22 there uh, was it 22 sorry we didn't get the number there yeah, I think it's um, yeah, that, um, Calvin Crichton, Daniel Calvin Crichton had had the ball and had away, and just if we can see a replay here, uh, the boys in the truck, we're we giving us a replay hopefully. So we're going to get to the, the snap wasn't good. It got there on the half volley to the hold, and the holder had to try and jump up and make something out of it. Couldn't do so, and New South Wales were away. Yeah, just a good good second effort there to come by South Australia. I think I think it might have been Rusby coming there to punch the ball out. Here we go, here's a replay. We see it here, the snap. I think it bounces twice before it gets there, so... Yep. Oh, no, it was on the one hopper. There it comes out. Kirk Crichton's away. Oh, just like nothing. Why don't you lean Bennett come in there, so... Where it was, saved the two points. So now we're at 39 to 6. So, and uh, New South Wales will get another shot with the ball here. I mean, um... I mean, six minutes, a bit over six minutes to go here. Uh, still, still plenty of time. Still another couple of drives here. Plenty of game time to go. So, got new yeah. looks like I've got new returners back here. So, we're just trying to get the numbers for you because uh, they are directly side on to us in our commentary position. Yeah, it makes it hard. And this kick's a good one. Well, I'll see you later. I so. think that's Rustin Todd back there for one of them. And Kristen uh, Gukuma from the West Sydney Pirates is there as well. Best, best kick of the afternoon. Yeah, he, he, he got all that one, didn't he? So, yeah, there's Kristen uh, Gakuma on your screen right there. He was, he was hoping to be able to get his hands on the ball and uh, charge it back. South Australian sideline. Coach Ross Smith will be pretty happy with his charges there. They've, uh, they've been very efficient today. Oh, sorry, not efficient. They've been very effective today. They've been very efficient this second half here, um, first half. <laughs> you think the coach would almost grow like the Andy Reid type mo? We've got the car keys and the red shirt on. <laughs> you think you just, just really go the whole oh, nine yards? Yeah. Ward back to oh, pass once Andy again, Stevens. and it is picked off, Here we and go. it is vacant territory in front, and that is the cherry on top of this South Australian win. Andrew Stevens, he's been a toilet linebacker, he looks pretty happy with that touchdown catch there, he's um, 
If we see the replay here, he just dropped straight out to his own. He actually took a re-step for the run there. Yep, just got right underneath Grant. They weren't there. stopping him after that. No, they weren't, yeah. No, it's... Um, the South Australian linebackers have been... Uh, you see another here. They've been very effective at dropping to their underneath zones here. Like in some of the previous matches, they were probably dropping to the zones before they would actually get out and playing the run there, but... You can see that's pretty textbook there by uh, Andrew Stevens. He stepped up, to, stepped up to his gap to first read it wasn't run, then dropped back at the angle and found himself the recipient of a Dave Ward pass and a touchdown. Good reward, uh, good, uh, good reward for the big fella. He's um, yeah, no, been big, playing big, nicely. 32-year-old has represented his state and his country. Comes out of the Port Adelaide Spartans team. Yeah. Bad snap, good hold, but yeah, they slot it. That was a fantastic work there by Rusby to get that ball back up and uh, for Liam Bennett through to kick it. He must be really competitive. Uh, I tried to find a win-loss record in the uh, South Australian League last night, but I, I couldn't spot one. But it must be a pretty competitive uh, league, Nate, to, to get a side from, from only five teams, to be able to, to get a team that's been playing this well this afternoon. Must be a not really nice, high-quality league over there. Yeah, look at his. I mean, look, I mean, thing was, I mean they always make it, if you make a deal about the number of teams, I think the, the thing is... It's the quality of the teams. And I think if you look at some of the South Australian scores, there's not a lot of blowouts in those, those league yeah. games over there. And I suppose being kind of isolated and that part of that sort of community and considering the dominance of Aussie rules in that place... Yeah, massively. Um, it is a bit of a thing. It is, a, it, is a, um, it is very much a minority sport. And so it's obviously they've... Uh, They've got together and they've pulled together and, and at club level you do get pet sort of rivals and jealousies there. Yeah. They, they've put them aside here and put a good quality side on the field. I mean, they didn't do so well against uh, against WA. I mean, that was that 35 to 6 where it was. But I tell you what, they were in that game up until halftime. They, I mean, look, if they can keep this program building, it's um, they're, they're going to they're challenge me the AGL title when it rolls around again in two years. So there's, there's some talk of a potential mercy rule and... Uh, maybe look, maybe nah. that's more than 40 points, but yeah. New South Wales got their more than 35. Yeah. So Chris, Christian Gakoma coming in. We are at that point. Maybe oh, the two teams got... have elected to play on. Steps back inside. Nice little job here. He gets cleaned up very, from behind. Very good return there by Chris by Christian. It was um, that uh, Christian Gakoma. That's that's a, that's a very nice return here. Look at this. The ball's bouncing around there. He cuts back. Just. Look for some daylight here. Gets it. Got a bit of space here. Reads off the block of McNaughton. Good block by McNaughton there to hold that block. And he just um, in and out and gets, a, gets another five, six yards. Two, they almost got Does the ball some nice work uh, changing the uh, ball hand to did, uh, yeah. the sideline that he's running it to as yeah. well, which now, for those young ones watching. And I think uh, look number 55 is uh, Matt Rutledge. He's making his way off the field from the Newcastle Cobras. Yep. So it's just holding up play for a minute. Here we go. So the First women's to team to come, field. the women's league to come after this game. New South Wales taking on Queensland. So state of origin at its best. Can South Australia find more points? New quarterback? No. Nah, that's Dave Ward still. It's Christian Guitar the carry. It's, uh, look, I can't see who was there on the stop first up. It was... Um, Kemp was diving in late there as well. I think it was number three. Less than six minutes to go in this one. Ward at quarterback. Yeah. Yeah, Andrew Stevens, the touchdown scorer, gets straight back to work there. Stuff's right in the middle. Now, look, we are in mercy rule at the moment. So what mercy rule means is when it's now a 40-point, it's now a 40-point margin, so it is now a running clock. So only timeouts and touchdowns stop the clock. Right. If New South Wales score a touchdown and bring it back under 35, then guess what? Back to normal clock. So these are the IFAF rules we are playing under. So... Ward back to pass, has a bit of time, climbs the pocket nicely. Oh. And it's intercepted off the tip. Oliver Edwards there. And that's really unlucky for New South Wales. Rostrum Todd had a shot at that there, didn't he? Good climbs protection. the pocket. Oh. Off his chest. Oliver Edwards is trailing that, was trailing that play by a mile and it's sort of... He's about 10 yards behind the play. Ball gets popped in the air and all of a sudden he's got himself a present. State interception. So that's, uh, that's a third of the day that New South Wales has thrown. So, and, uh, I mean, I mean, the thing is here, it's uh, look at the field, the field position on this. I mean, so, so back in the 80s in the NFL, some coaches didn't mind interceptions on long bombs because it's essentially like a yeah. long punt. Yeah, arm punt. Yeah, arm punt, yep. So, now 25-second play clock in. So let's see what... Rusby, Saxon, Leary's back in the backfield here. Let's see what they do now. 
<laughs> you wonder if they elect now to running clock. There uh, wouldn't be much longer to go in this one. We yeah, got a flag coming in from downtown. Flag. It looks definitely like a face mask. I think uh, number 24 there, at, uh, Anders Tracy from the. Um, it was US. nearly an arm punt of a flag throw from the back judge. Yep. Look at this. Oh, they've caught. They've caught. I don't know if he actually. Yeah, they've called that a face mask, but I don't know if he actually got it. Looked like he got, he got the collar, so it's not a horseshoe because you need to bring him back down over the back. So, but either way, the penalty. Let's have a look at here. Thank you for the replay, boys. And it's coming in. Oh, no, I, don't, I, look, oh, I think that's a bit hard done by that. It doesn't look like a penalty. That looks. Um, that came from a long way away, too. I, th I think he sort of flashed across the helmet, but it's. Um, yeah, he grabbed jersey. And either way, it's irrelevant. First and 10 for South Australian midfield. Yeah, the quick pass has been a recipe. Oh, and oh <laughs> Benjamin <laughs> just shows off a couple of his party tricks. He's gotten three touchdowns this afternoon. And he's got the one hander to add to it. Now he just elects to. Go with the old one-hander. Yep. Oh, nice. <laughs> I think Rusby's going, yeah, thanks. That probably wasn't my best throw of the day, but yeah, that, thanks. Thanks, Andre. <laughs> the boys will be happy in cutting up their highlights after this one. Gain of five, so it sets up second of five now. <laughs> Drops back to pass once again. And look at the time he's got. Just drives a bit of traffic. Now has to get on his legs and look at the hit in back play and it's going to be flagged. Yeah, it looks like it's a peel back block here. On 94, James McLean Horton. Yeah. He gets absolutely nailed here. I think they've got that because the play was, yeah, the play was well passed and he stepped out of bounds. So I think they've just called that unnecessary. It was a good shot, but yeah, prob probably, it's probably on that borderline, so. Good to see from the uh, South Australians. It's a really good mix. All five sides very well represented here uh, during these during this state competition. Mm. And it's had plenty of uh, sort of different goes. The state comp. It's been like week week long competitions where you got to back up yep, yep, yep. every other day. Yeah. Look, it's um. Yeah, we'll talk about it after this play, like the, 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 the pros and cons of uh, the, the, the new AGL competition. So we'll just wait and see what it is. So I think it's a... Uh, they put now third down. I reckon it should be second... Oh, it was post dead ball foul, so it is third down. Sorry, my apologies. Referee's got it right. Going to drop back to pass once again. Has a fair bit of time over the middle. Just had a little bit too much on it. Jesse White in there, so... Pulling return duties as well, so... Looks like there's another flag bound back at the line of scrimmage. So, yes, yeah, so we'll see what it is. So it's, uh, it's Tony Martin, two Victorian officials in the middle there. Uh, Brian Curry, the lead official, and Tony Martin from Victoria. Here we go. We'll see what the call is. Um, so he's coming out. They're also having another late chat. Both teams in their huddles. He's a personal foul. Here he goes. Yep, personal foul. Roughing, uh, no, it's not roughing. The, he's roughing the pass, yes. He did the signal of roughing the pass and he pointed the wrong way. So, yes, it is. That is a roughing the pass penalty on New South Wales, which means that's a get out of jail free card for the South Australians. So, it's going to be uh, a first down for them. So, 46 6 to score, South Australia, too strong this afternoon. It was yep. quite an even first half, Nathan. It's just been in the second half where New South Wales haven't been able to go with. The Sharks. They definitely haven't been. Look, it's, um, it was Rusby with all in the first half, but this second half, look, it's uh, Rusby's definitely played his part, but Saxon Leary in his tough yards has probably been part of the difference here, and that just that very active South Australian defence. They've, they've done quite well today. They've got, gotten, um, held the running, like they've, they've held the New South Wales running game in check. So, look, they've done quite well. It's, it's a thing, we're sort of looking at the team sheet here. It's like oh, you look at them, they've, like Damien Voller's done some good things. Uh, Ryan Ottens has done some good things. Andrew Stevens has done some good things. It's like it's one of the things not picking out. It's like one guy. This is responsible for it. It's like they've they've worked well as a unit, which I mean, as a coach, you'd you'd love to see. Oh yeah. You you, you want to be hard pressed to give the man of the match award. You want it. You want it to tough. You want it to be tough to give. So. Look at this. Grant McNaughton has gone from playing receiver. He's now on the defensive line. Yeah. Look, so. our coach Rocco Bosco. He said he said he was he actually went to a three four defense. Went to the three man line because they were having trouble finding linemen. So I think Grant's been uh, pressed into duty here. So I'll see what he can do. See what the big fella can do. He's definitely got the size for it, doesn't he? Oh yeah. Good little battle here. Uh, McNaughton on 
Gavin Jones. The Gavin Australian Jones. We'll see so what happens here, hey? A little bit to watch. Quick pass over the middle. Oh, and in absolute vacant territory. Two to beat. Cuts to the outside. Yeah. Now inside the five. A lovely play there. It's Andre Hall. By the Sharks. Andre Hall. Isn't he happy about that? Look at the replay here. Turns around. Beats... Uh, Beats Tamanavalu from City Uni. Gets back. Oh, I probably should have stayed straight up behind that block there. So, just wonder what happened to that City Uni. He just lost his footing yeah, at the absolute his... worst time. Yeah, that's just that's just a when the ground when the ground when the ground uh, doesn't help you out there. On that it cricket just, pitch it area, straight, it was just a straight little seam route, wasn't it? So there's New South Wales player down on the sideline, just at the bottom of the screen here. You can see. And he was in a uh, he was in a world of pain when he hit the yeah. deck as well. So a bit too close to sideline. He's obviously hurting. So we, uh, they want to hold things up and help him for him. Now uh, that's uh, on your screen now. It's uh, Tamani Valu coming off as well. He was in coverage. He slipped. Obviously, he's hurt himself uh, going over. So unfortunately, that looks knee and ankle territory. I hope it's not. Hope it's not too serious for for him. So Look here's here. the replay from in behind. And yeah, he just, just slips. Yeah, and you he's can tell he's hurt himself because he, he can't even get back up to, uh, to try and help chase. Yeah, and I think it's uh, Daniel Gow. Who, no, it's uh, number th 31 who's down now for New South Wales. That's uh, Rob Seymour from the Raiders. And he threw his helmet off from the get-go. So uh, uh, Yeah, they're, they're carrying off down the bottom and they're holding his leg out too. Might have just done something to the, to the ankle. That is a great hair. That is great hair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. that. He's been holding onto that for a long time. <laughs> that, he hasn't seen a barber. Yeah. Be Look, best, best wishes, Rob. Hope you... Um... <laughs> hope, hope he's all right. Yeah. <laughs> the crowd here, obviously, Rob's friends here. Yeah, I uh, hope so. I think they've been telling Rob to get a haircut, too, it seems. Yes. Pass. Oh, just over the head of Jesse White. <laughs> So just holding on to things. Glad that New South Wales fans have, have kept their sense of humour in what has been a, a bit of a flogging. Bit of a tough day so far. And look, Seth Strain knocking on the door again. It is a running clock again, so... So, Rusby barking orders. Benjamin, top of your screen. He looks That's that way, but he's under immense pressure. And as Tracy gets on his legs and... Yeah. Forces the throw out of bounds. Good pressure. I think if you look at the replay in New South Wales, they sent both outside back as they sent five there, sent after him in there. Good pressure. Probably, Anders Tracy, not quite the best angle, but it was effective enough to force the incompletion. If he stayed outside a bit, might have caused Rosby a bit more, a bit more problems. So, looking to the sideline, I think, have they called a the timeout? Yeah, I think they've called a the timeout. Looks like the water is on, so that is south of... That will be South Australia's... Uh, they've already used one, so that will be their second timeout of the half. We can see the women, well, the New South Wales girls are still going through their stretches while the Queensland ladies have padded up and are starting to go through their warm-up routines. And if you can see the coach that just disappeared out of screen there, that's uh, Josh Gargilo, another ex-Firebird, Murray. Um, oh, nice. Yeah, another ex-Firebird, 2004 UC Firebirds in Canberra. Bit of a Canberra connection. <laughs> Yeah, there's plenty of us around. Yeah, there is. So, it looks South Australia coming back out now. It is going to be third down, six yards out from the end zone. So, so running clock now that the margin uh, has gotten over. It has a running clock, but that time that did stop the clock. So. so, so we wait on the referee. The whistle goes, so that clock kicks off again. Now we get a timeout from New South Wales. Yes. Obviously, uh, Rocco loves a timeout. Yeah, I think either he loves a timeout or Rocco really didn't love something he saw. Yeah. So. New South Wales are in the goal. They're in the go look a goal line package, so it looks like it's cover zero or quarters coverage. So. Well, they got beat here last time. Benjamin on the slant, and they were probably just a little bit too deep at corner. Yeah. So maybe the message is going to go out and say, "Get up in their face and press." Yeah. Them. Yep. Yep. So now uh, New South Wales. Uh, the Coyotes warming up just on the side here, ready for their tilt against Queensland. So Queensland are up, it's a best of three series. Queensland are up 1-0. Ah, nice. Uh, so Queensland had a big win up in um, up last week. Uh, so, yeah, a big win up in Queensland by 50-odd points. So, look, if Queensland get another win today here on home soil, they will clinch it. So, Is there a name to the national trophy? 
It's the yeah, not so yet. We should. We'll have to find someone to name it after. Yes. Yeah. It's the Claxton Shield in baseball. <laughs> the Sheffield Shield in cricket. Here. Yeah. This is a. As you can see, some very cricket names around this ground here. Ray Lindwall has a, a sight screen named after him. You would have thought he'd be able to get more than a sight screen, wouldn't you? you Australian think? legend. Ray, Ray Lindwall actually actually played fullback for St George. Really? Yeah. Very uh, played, talented. Played, played man. in a grand final in the 40s. Yeah. Yeah. Very talented athlete, Ray Lindwall. One of the most fierce and fast bowlers Australia's ever seen. Well before my and your day, Murray. Bill O'Reilly has got. So is that the memorial scoreboard? It is, yep. Rusby Taliri is through here. Touchdown. It's just a bit too easy. Up the guts again. Yeah, good blocking. We'll get the end on replay here to have a look here. Just goes off the right side here to number 58 there, Hugh Stevens again. Pins, pins um, Jordan Harrison inside, and that opens it up there. Leary beats the linebacker. So, yeah. Hugh Stevens had a pretty good... I mean, we've been making mention of Gavin Jones here as the Australian left tackle playing very well. Hugh Stevens at right guard's played a very good game today. He's um, cleared the way. I, th I, th I thought he's been... Particularly impressive and um, experience, well, apart from, experienced apart campaigner from, considering he actually has to help uh, Mark Rusby with the protection calls as well. Yeah, and, and apart from maybe a handful of times when New South Wales have got plenty of pressure on them, the, the South Australian line has been very stout this afternoon. They, they have. Look, their run blocking, what, I mean, their run blocking in the second half has been much better than the first half. That, I mean, look, their pass protection has been great. In the, in the, but in the first half, they are uh, let some leakage through in terms of the run blocking, but they've been much, much more solid the second half here. Here is another kick coming for the South Australians. The snap good, the hold gets down, and the conversion is good. Very good. Daniel Gow is coming off the end there. I thought he might have a chance to block it. Uh, good, good work by Liam Bennett to stay with it and not panic. So, as he gets it down, bang. So, after a couple of little early jitters, he's been really good after that. Yeah. Look at that. Plenty of action here at Hurstville Oval. If you can't get down to watch it live, then make sure you continue listening to the live stream. Yep. No That's the New South Wales Coyotes warming up bottom of screen. Their male counterparts and the South Australians and the Queenslanders up in the back corner. And the Queensland Sun Devils, yeah, Lady Sun Devils. Sun Devils, nice. I like it. Just a quick recap here for those who uh, haven't made it here for the start of the game. That was uh, Saxon Leary's second touchdown of the game. Uh, he scored the first game. He scored the first of the game, and he scored the last so far. In between, Mark Rusby has actually thrown um, uh, four touchdowns. He has thrown to... Um, uh, he's hit Merton with one, and he's hit Benjamin with three. Actually, no, he's hit Benjamin with... Hit Benjamin with two, uh, and Chano Yun's had a running, has a, had a running rushing yeah. touchdown as well. My apologies, Rusby has three touchdown passes. So, so here's the kick, and Rustam Todd is going to run this one back. It's oh. a good block in front, then a nice right foot step. Another, then bounces off the left, then the right, breaks it to the outside, doesn't have anyone in front of him. He'll go across the 20, the 10, and will score a length of the field touchdown to Rustam Todd. And that is an absolute highlight for New South Wales. Here is the replay. He has taken that three yards deep in the end zone and busted that out. That's a really good look at the end of the play here. Liam Bennett's the only guy with a realistic shot to get him. Jack Pritchard works up, gets just enough of him there to put Liam Bennett off, and that, uh, that springs it open there. That is terrific work from a man who hasn't played much good iron. I reckon his first season was only this season gone past for UTS. And look, and, we, and that's that has time has expired on the play there. And look, let's have a look at here. Christian Gekoma took one for the team there, didn't he? <laughs> Benny Loudon on the decks made a, a couple of yeah. people miss, but a really good way to finish that one for New South Wales. It wasn't their day. And but they've certainly put in right until the final whistle. And in terms of putting in, you have a look at this. Mark Shoebridge is out there. Mark Shoebridge throws a block up the middle on this. He was a starting quarterback. He gets out there, gets up here, bang, makes the block there. Yep, that's yep, that's shows some real character there when you've got a quarterback there. He's he's took taking his bench and he said, "Yeah, another shot, coach." Oh, um, especially yep. with the injuries, as blokes uh, missing yep. and sitting down with their gear off. And that's a really good way to finish things off for New South Wales. But the final score is 53 to 12. Time expires, so we don't get the PAT for New South Wales. But we're going to get the big handshake line coming up. And there's a fair few walking wounded players for New South Wales. But ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for both sides. The South Australian Sharks... Victorious in this one, 53 to 12 against a gallant New South Wales Wolfpack. 
led out by two national representatives there, Andrew Stevens and oh, sorry, Andrew Stevens and Hugh Stevens. They've uh, yep, South Australia look have have play, played quality football today. They thoroughly deserve this win, haven't they? No, but certainly they're really pretty to watch. They were it was an even first half. They really broke things open in the second half. Mark Rusby, he gets my three points for uh, man of the match. He really controlled things uh, from an offensive point of view. Love the work of Gavin Jones on the offensive line. And the big boys split out wide. Tedmanson and Andre Benjamin were uh, really exciting to watch. I think, uh, and we forget, we've, we've actually uh, neglected the guy who I think has got the lion's share of the uh, catches, and that's uh, number 15 there, uh, right, Will Murden. Yeah, Murden as well. He played, and he's, none of those, were, like, they're all tough catches. He took a shot after most of them, so look, yeah, plenty of standouts for the South Australian team, so, and they will be, um, yeah, look. They'll enjoy themselves. Very, they'll enjoy Fly back might be tomorrow morning, so they might get out and <laughs> see a bit of the Sydney nightlife. Yes, sir. But either way, they've represented, well, both sides have represented their states very well. Game was played in a terrific, uh, terrific level of sportsmanship. No real no. chippy plays or no, anything look, like that. Look, Most of the hits were fair. There, there, look, there was, a, there was a, a roughing the passer at the end there, you saw. But, like, there was a roughing the passer, but uh, they sort of had a quick hand slap to sort of square things away. It seems South Australian, the New South Wales guys involved in that. So, And the quick advice for the South Australian fans here is uh, the lockout laws. If you're planning on having a big night, yeah. um, and Hurstville is not subject to the lockout laws. So. Yeah, well, it depends where they're staying. Depends where they're staying. Get to the casino either way. <laughs> uh, just another quick announcement. We still have a set of car keys here that someone has dropped. So if you are missing a set of car keys, please come to the commentary booth. We're right near the uh, Bill O'Reilly Memorial Scoreboard. Um, we are the three clowns sitting in the caged glassed room. So if you are missing your car keys, please come and get them. We'd hate for you to realise right at the end of the day that you have no way to get home. All right, well, on behalf of myself, Murray Cannell and Nathan Long, we'd like to thank you all for tuning in and we'll see you soon for the women's game in about half an hour.